Did you try and get New York passes this year? No, not I, even. I didn't think so. Keep going. Yeah. Who's there? <laughs> I can give you stuff to get signed for me if it's people that I have. I mean, Brian K. Vaughn's supposed to be there. Yeah, you'll never get spots for him. Yeah, like, I'm I'm going to leave early Friday because I, I took the day off of work. Yeah. So I'm going to see if I get there early enough to get in line for You're him. You have to get there, like, like before leave. doors open. Yeah. You have to get in line outside. Leave at midnight to get up there and Seriously, I can give you my SAGA number one. Man, I'm, I have my own to get signed. So, and I can get mine signed, too. And I'll give you my Why the Last Man book. I, honestly, I, I wasn't even bringing anything to get... Like, I didn't want to bring my bag with me because I'm not driving. I'm taking the train up. So I wasn't even bringing stuff to get signed. You're just going to show up and do nothing. On Friday, yeah. What a loser. What a loser. I might buy some stuff. No, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Is he even signing on Friday? I don't... See, that's the thing. I don't I don't know what his actual schedule is. Yeah, you won't. I think he's there all four days. Yeah. But, I mean, like, Bendis isn't there, there this year, but, like, Slot's there one day, which is weird, because he lives in New York. You would just think he would be there <clears throat> He's busy. more often. He's busy writing Spider-Man, and... Nah, it's on he, hiatus right now, because of Secret Wars. He's, he's got two books to write. You know, you know who they're writing ahead of time, you know? Yeah, plus, plus Spider-Man's twice monthly. Is it still twice monthly? Pretty much every Marvel book is six times a month. Like, <laughs> like I'm not... Yeah, the, they'll launch a book in January at number one, yeah. and then come June they're already on issue twenty two. It's like, know. what the fuck is wrong with you people? I don't know. <laughs> they have quite a few books that, uh, by the time they hit a year and it should be issue twelve, they're already pushing into twenties. Sometimes because they they just have th- their scheduling is so bad. Yeah, a book will get pushed back a month, but then they'll already be scheduled for two that month. So then three books come out that month. So you almost have weekly issues of a series coming out. And well, you know why, right? Because they have a year to get a status quo set up so that they can kill it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the I end mean, of the year. That's one of the few things I really like about DC is that one, one issue a month. Their shit stays at one a month. There. So Yeah. They, no, they, like, I agree. New 52's like, been going since, what, September 11? Yeah, and it hasn't stopped, and Batman is exactly where it should be. Yeah, like, the, they're all, I guess, three issues behind straight through because they had the zero issue oh yeah the villains yeah like whatever shit because september they always have like the weird thing go on yeah which is yeah and i i hear you that's the one thing that bothers me a lot about marvel is it's just it 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 can be like it's non-stop i need to i wanted to sit down and read my books this week i didn't get around to that because i wanted to make sure that i actually want old man logan i don't know that i want it Here's the, it looks good, but I don't know that I want it. So the thing, because I know you were saying you didn't like the the art style. Yeah. So that story in particular is pretty cool. Like yeah. I think it's cool. The art is kind. It's yeah. muddy and it's hard to really tell what's going on and who's yeah. who. It's just it's just weird. Yeah, but so that artist is doing yeah the thing, but you can't really judge that story yeah. on his ongoing because he's going to be part of the main Marvel universe, and yeah. I ha- I have a feeling that once that's done, no one's going to remember what happened. During Secret Wars, I think it's going to be one of those, that's like, true. everybody wakes up and they're just where they left off, basically. See, that's what's going to be weird. Plus, it's it's eight months later. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know. But, I mean, it's more like I just want to kind of gauge how they're doing the character. I mean, even though I know it's a different writer, but still, yeah. I like to kind of gauge it and everything. I mean, but... Bendis is doing it very, like, he, it seems like a similar character to... Yeah. Uh, I wish they'd have been able to get Mark Miller again, because... It's a shame he hates superhero comics now and just does his own superhero comics. I, I have news for him, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. Let's kind of started. Cool. All right, everybody. Who's ready? Uh, I'm, I'm ready. Not ready. Are, are you ready? I'm ready. Hi, right, right, kids. There you go. I fucking hate SpongeBob. There you go. It's PodQuest time, guys. PodQuest number 71 right here. Issue 71. Shit. Number 71. What are you shitting about? No. Something. You shitted. Shite. I forgot to turn on the Chromecast, and I can't find the remote for the eh, TV. We, we uh, don't use it all that often. That's <laughs> yeah, fine. But it um, has the temperature oh, and the time. Oh, yeah, because I don't know what time it is or the temperature. Everybody, it is Sunday, October 4th, 12, 2015. Uh, I don't the have year that. of our Lord. I don't know. No. 10.05, no. No. and it's, no. uh, it's 56 degrees out. I don't care about that part, uh, but I don't have any interesting things about October 4th or... Anything like that? Um, um, stuff happened yesterday. What happened on October the fourth? Um, actually, I. Funny enough, I, I forget what it was now, but there was something that like came out on the fourth or something. Well, okay, October third. There's two things. What? Number one, in Mean Girls, the dude asks Lindsay Lohan what day it is, and it's October third. Oh, okay. At number two, it's October, a good movie. October third is the anniversary of the day Ed and Al try to bring back their mom. 
in oh, his wow. watch he has written never forget october 3rd oh 10 so out. i think it's 1910 so interesting yeah, yeah. check that out uh, so only if we recorded this show. yesterday, we could record. We could have the Rainbow Six Siege beta ends today. I don't care. I'm not. Oh even, man, I didn't even, even get into that, that anymore. I was, like I thought it looked cool, but then I realized how team heavy it's going to be, and then I didn't care anymore. Yeah, I never, I never even got around to uh, trying it. No. Okay, um, so um, yep. In 1979, Hewlett Packard released its first programmable calculator, the HP 41C. Oh shit! Uh, in okay. 1957, the space age began when Russians launched Sputnik. One Ooh, into Earth orbit. Sputnik one. In 1999, Palm Computing released the Palm VX handheld computer. Oh goodness! That's all I got. A Palm Pilot, everybody. It was two ninety nine. Two dollars and ninety nine cents. No, two hundred ninety nine dollars. Okay, I was like, that's a really good price. It it, it went from two megs of RAM to eight megs. Oh, no, I'm shit. sorry. I'm sorry. That wasn't RAM. That wasn't RAM. That was storage. Oh shit! Oh, boy, you can get like a whole Word document in there, maybe. So, do you guys know back circa like ninety? Five ninety six, let's say. No. Um, Bill Gates actually, in a magazine interview on like PC Magazine, said, "I don't think we'll ever need more than five megabytes of storage space." Yep. Because why would we ever need to be that far? And I don't think we'll ever need anything past the Pentium two processor. <laughs> because why would we ever need processing? Yeah. And now yeah. my my quad core processor, one terabyte well, hard drive, isn't enough. Right wait, now. Well, the, your hard drive has a quad core processor? No, my computer has <laughs> a computer. Yes, I know. Yeah, <laughs> stupid. Um, no, it's the same reason. Like like when when you think about the internet, when they were making the internet, why would we ever need more than like ten billion IP addresses? Oh, we're all out. Thanks, guys. As they they were all out of IP addresses. They knew we were going to be all out of IP addresses before they even released the internet. Yeah, didn't did, why didn't they just increase the number of IP addresses and change it beforehand? This way we wouldn't run into this fucking problem. God damn it, I hate everyone. Yeah, because now they're like, oh, God damn it, North Uncle America's Rick. out of addresses. You better switch to IPv6. <sighs> IPv6 has been like it's it's been on the table for like eight years, yeah, and nobody's been doing anything with it, and they need to. IPv6 is it's going to make networking super fucking easy because you don't have to do shit because of how many goddamn IP addresses there are. It's retarded. Every person's going to get like their own like four billion IP addresses. I'm exaggerating, but each person gets a lot of IP addresses because that's how many there's going to be out there. It's retarded. You sign up for Comcast and you get a block of like like f- four quads of data, and those four quads house way too many IP addresses per person. It's retarded. That's Anywho, insane. It's going to be awesome. It's going to make things really easy, and people are nervous because they're afraid and they don't understand how it works, but it's so fucking Skynet's going to come alive when that happens. No, that's that's happening when uh, No Man's Sky comes out. Um there's there's going to be something sentient built in into that game that's going to eat. Now, I feel like that's going to be Pokemon Go. I don't think so. It's just Pokemon's Go. <laughs> now I was I was talking to Audrey about No Man's Sky because uh, he was Sean Murray was on Stephen Colbert's show. Yeah, I um, was I mentioned that to Richie earlier. Cool. Yeah, I was. So we watched the clip and she talked throughout the whole thing, so I didn't get to see any of it. Um, and so then you was, replayed it again after she fell asleep. No, I'm going to watch it again later today. Uh, but I, I I got to like watch it at least, but I couldn't hear what they were talking about. But she was asking like, wait, how does this work? How does it was like they, they built a program out of math. The whole thing you buy that disc on that disc is math. Nothing else beyond math. There's no data. There's no uh, planets. There's no creatures. There's no nothing. It's just math on a disc. And you boot that game up, and all it does is it generates everything based on the math. Everything that you're looking at is generated on the fly by the math. The disc makes the game for you. They didn't make shit. They just made robots to fly through the game and make sure that the math wasn't getting too crazy. And if it did, they would alter the math to make it fit better. <laughs> and she's like, that's just, just it's, it's fucking insane yeah. how they made this game. And she's like, that's scary. Like, what if there's something sentient living in that trying to kill us? I was like, there might be for all we know. And it's just telling all the robots, hey, I'm not here. Just wait till the game's released so that I can kill everyone. Who knows? It's awesome. I can't wait. The game looks so fucking good. Um, but yeah, so things happened, and it's the fourth of October. And how you guys doing? Pretty good, not bad. How all about right. yourself? I'm all right. I'm all right. You know, I wish I had more time to play games. Me too. Games are a lot of fun. I need help in Destiny right now. What do you need to do? I got a mission. I was finally able to kill the Venus. Um, uh, me, um, me and Vogel did that last night. 
What, the Venus ones? Yeah. Me and him did Earth the other day, and then I was able to do my last Venus and both uh, Marses within like an hour. Okay. And my new weapon, Susano, which I got from breaking down the um, the uh, the fusion rifles that I got from the guy. Mm. Fucking awesome. What it's is so it? cool. It's a fusion rifle. But to hit the... What's it called? Susano. Susano? Yeah. Okay. It's it's a special ability, final special ability. If I, like, I'm going to use my arc type mostly. Once I deal damage with arc, it does arc damage for a bit. Oh, cool. Or if I were to use void, it would do void damage for a bit. That's neat. It's so cool. But I was able to get done that, and uh, I had a mission where I had to kill six lieutenants on Mars. I did that, and now I have an actual mission on Mars. Mm-hmm. And it's hard as hell, because I have to kill an Echo, and it's timed. And, oh, an Oryx thing? Yeah, it's, um, when you get to the final boss, the ghost warns you. He's like, there's gas, blight, and the 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 rockets are getting ready to shoot off. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, good luck, mm-hmm. pretty much, is what he says. Yeah. And once you kill the initial set in the middle, an orb sh- shines, and then you go and you pop it, and out comes the, the Oryx Echo. And then everything just hell breaks loose. Yeah. There's blight circles that pop. Blight spheres pop. There's the um, gas slowly rises from the bottom up. Mm-hmm. And then, mm-hmm. like, around the outer rim, where, like, you're heightened up a bit, there's, like, rocket. Like, there's, like, flame things. And they shoot off mm. all the, all around. It sounds like a lot of fun. God, no. Yeah. I died seven times trying it. Gave well, up. Me and him will try to get there, because we just got to the Mars one. Well, no, you need, um, it's a mission from, I think it's a mission from Eris to help the three of them. Yeah, we got that. And then the first one was you had to kill one of each on Earth. Earth. Yeah. The second one, like, after you yeah. do that and do the mission on Earth, then you go to Mars, you're on a mission on Mars, then kill the six lieutenants, then you get that. Right. So, yeah, we're we're, okay. we're on our way there, so if you slow down a bit or... Help us. I won't, I won't be on today, so... Of course I, mean, not. You guys, I might be. We'll see. I don't well, know. Fear the Walking Dead is on. I don't care. Fuck that show. I have dinner at the parents. So what? Don't go. I gotta. Why do you gotta? Because I told her I'd go. So just say you're busy. I do want to just say I'm busy. So there you go. That's what I do. Ha- have either of you guys actually made it to the, the Taken King raid yet? Uh, no. I mean, I could probably do it. I just haven't done it. I plan on doing it this coming Friday. Yeah, I'm waiting for him to do it the first time, and then after that, I'll just going to do it each Friday. Week. I watched one. I, I ended up watching the better part of a seven-hour attempt at it that mm-hmm. uh, Giant Bomb did. Nice. Seven-hour attempt? Seven and a half hours. The first attempt. Are usually Six really guys. Well. It was, it was, uh, it's a six-man raid, which yep. I guess is normal. Yeah. Three of them have already done it. Mm-hmm. it. Brad from Giant Bomb had already done it, and he had two other guys that he knew that had done it multiple times yeah and then they had um jeff and two other people that had terrible at video games and jeff like just recently started playing destiny again too um but yeah it took them seven hours Mm -hmm. i only i saw the last two and a half phases yeah um mechanics wise super cool looking yeah spoil nothing but that's why i'm just saying like mechanics wise like just how how those last two phases go I I totally see why it took them so long, because mm-hmm. um, it took them like four hours just to do the last phase of the uh, yeah the thing. Totally cements that that's not for me though. Yeah, because I wouldn't be able to keep up with that and not cause a wipe every time. Yeah, well, it's it's yeah, it's I, the I might watch are it. usually a ton of fun. Like the mechanics with them are just super exciting. Yeah, um, I I can't wait to try it. <laughs> But uh, I'm usually pretty much a stickler on, like, if we hit three hours and we're not getting anywhere, I'm going to stop. I'm going to watch the video. Yeah, I mean, th- this but, one, yeah. it, it looked like getting... This doesn't spoil anything. It's There's zero margin for error, mm-hmm. especially in that last phase. Mm-hmm. Um, so if, say, you miss, like, jumping towards something, mm-hmm. you basically just have to wipe and do it over. Because yeah. cause there's a lot of those, like, countdowns and stuff like that going on. So you, you it's one of those, like... If if anyone messes up, rather than trying to salvage it, especially if it's in like the early part of it, yeah, it looked like it was just easier to. It, it was easier to just have everybody wipe quickly than yeah, try and get anything else done because you need at least you need at least four of the six people just to do the first part of yeah. each like section of the phase, which kind of makes sense, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, if one person goes down, you're just kind of. But yeah, I, there's, I would never be able to keep up with it. No. 
No, because I I'm really I get really turned around with the first person view, oh, like yeah. knowing where things are. When you pull out your sword, it's third person. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but like it's one of those things because like especially because in that you're jumping from first to third because you're picking things up. Yeah. So like in third person, I'd be fine, but as soon as it like zooms back into first person and you have to quickly like make your way to a certain area, I, I would just be very turned around yeah. and. I, I love that shit. I, I'm stoked. I can't wait to try it. So. Like it, it looked yeah. awesome. Like yeah. it, it was fun to watch. I just, I know I wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. So I would be the person that was causing a group to go for seven hours wiping and. Yeah. So I'll stream it for you on Friday, and you can just yeah. have your controller in your hand, and you can pretend like you're actually <laughs> doing it. Now I, I, I spent like, look at me, I'm awesome. I spent five and a half hours watching it. That's I don't way too much I don't time. need to do it ever again. I don't know why you would ever do that? I'm gonna. I'm I had gonna... nothing else to do, and I, my laptop was on, so I just sat there watching it while they did it live. Horrible. I'm gonna lie, like okay, yeah. redo my Twitch or reset up my Twitch so I can start streaming shit again. I know. I need to set. Well, anyway, but yeah. Uh, I yeah, we'll definitely do it Friday. I know I'm going to be on. I told Vogel, and he's getting close. He's at he like, is. he's 289 already. Yeah, it's like I, they were saying um, you need at least 290. Yeah, 290. But, a lot of the internet people say 295 minimums. It's like fuck you. We can do it at 290. We'll be fine. Everyone in this group had at least like 293. Yeah, and the th- two guys that had done it previously were at like 302. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that Like, two bad. of the guys that had never done it were both at, like, 290 even. Yeah. And a couple fine. times they literally just left and went back to the, the place and sold shit and upgraded things and yeah. then came back. Oh, that's kind of funny. Um, just yeah, because yeah, it saves as you get... Yeah, because every time every time they hit a different boss and, and ended it, like, it was just loading them right before it. Yep. Yeah. So... Because there's... It, it looks like... checkpoints the, in the raids. It's yeah. a, I didn't realize how much platforming was in that stuff. I don't know if the other raids were like that or not. It's only the raids and the newer stuff. Like, there well, were... There was a lot of, like, just interesting platforming elements going on. Yeah, I, I heard a lot of people complain, like, there's too much platforming in this one. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous, and it's not easy to do in first person. And, like, there somebody put an article... I'm pretty sure it was Forbes, because Forbes likes to bitch about everything Destiny does. And and so this guy complained, like... Wait, oh. Forbes, like, the business magazine? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a video game section. <laughs> I did not Forbes. realize that. Yeah. It's, Look, if you ever go to it, every other article on that website is Destiny sucks, this is why. Destiny sucks, this is why. Destiny su-. At no point does this guy, and it's only one fucking guy, at no point does this guy ever praise Destiny. Then why the fuck have you been writing about it for a Because he hasn't half? played it, and he because reads everything he does. everyone else says. He plays says. it. He actively plays it. It's in every one of his articles. Yo, I played Destiny by myself because I'm a loser and I don't have any friends. I fucking hate this game. Here's the thing, though. Every fucking article. Here's the, the thing, same. though. People don't want to read about a game that they haven't played that's been out for a year about how good it is no, they want to yeah. they want to because all they've heard is how bad the game is they want to read more about how bad it is maybe maybe they probably get more clicks on negativity it, towards it than they do I can on positive. i can imagine that because right. if i never cool. bought destiny and i heard that it was terrible and decided to not buy it because it's terrible and then heard it got good I'd be mad that I never bought it. No, because you can just go buy it. I don't understand. Why no, because honestly, be mad, but. every every news outlet is basically saying now is the time to buy Destiny. If you bought it a year ago, cool, you're ahead of the game. If you tried it or you skipped over it last yeah. year, get it now because it's actually a good game. Yeah. yeah, everybody's like everybody's praising it except this guy from Forbes who he like half heartedly praises it or like like what's it like a, a, a like a backhanded uh, insult or whatever uh, a compliment like one of those ones where it's like Destiny's good but it sucks kind of thing like so he like praises it for like ten seconds and then explains why he hates this aspect of the thing that he's just praising from Destiny and it's ridiculous so like the the one thing was he's like the raid is is nice and all is really good but there's too much platforming and this it's hard to do in first person blah 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 blah. and then the first comment is use your sword and i i started cracking up <laughs> i was like motherfucker like that's all it takes anytime anybody has a like a, a, a something to bitch about in destiny there's easily an option to like not have not not bitch about it yeah. like, there's easily an explanation as to why you don't really need to bitch about this because you can find a way around it yeah it's cool that you can do like the sword for third person yeah but like just from watching the raid that like you wouldn't be able to complete the raid using nothing but the sword yeah no I mean, so it's one of those like it's just at least for the platform yeah. parts like like the platforming and so i haven't done this raid yet but the platforming in vault of glass was like there's a, a dedicated section to platforming so 
there's just this one spot that you platform through, and after that, there's no more platforming throughout the rest of it. I don't know if it's the same in in Taking King's Raid, but like it involved, seemed like it. Cause like, I, yeah, because like I said, I picked it up near the end, so they they were on their way to the second to last boss, and then it's same yeah. room as the final boss. Yeah. So <clears throat> I went back the next day just to see what it looked like at the beginning, and I watched like maybe like the first like half hour or so of it, right. and. Like when you first get in there, there's like a it's not a boss fight, but there's just a there's a thing you have to do where a lot of enemies spawn. Yeah, yeah. Um, but after that, it was a lot of jumping really fucking far yep. and trying to land on. It was essentially trying to land on moving platforms yep. and get from one to the other and timing it right. Right. And even Brad, who I think he said he'd done it like three or four times up to this point, yep, that fucked it up tons of times because you have to have your jumps time just right and yeah. he was using a different character so he was i think he was using a titan and he'd, he'd done it as a warlock Titans have the way better jump than anyone but i guess his he wasn't used to yeah. the way they jump so he kept yeah missing jumping to what he had to yeah i mean if it's dedicated to just platforming and there's no enemies flying at you and it's not a boss fight at the same time pull out your sword you know you can just swap yeah. your weapon afterwards you know uh, which, which, that's how I'll probably end up doing it, or I might just do it first person. Because I mean, everyone else didn't see that. The weird things were it looked like they were. It was hard to tell if they were actually following the path for it, yeah, or if they had just found ways around things. Because there were a few parts where they were walking on stuff, yeah, that didn't look like it should have actually been the path for the. That's how the raids work. It's just kind of like it's this big kind of not a sandbox but just this big fucking place and you find your way and, okay and if your way happens to be like this really weird like path on the edge that if you sidestep you're sliding off to your death that might be it that the designers put in as like a yeah a and side axis there, there might be other ways there, there were a lot of like a few things in the stuff too like there yeah. was a, while, while they were on the final fight there was one point where Ma- like they were on their final lap basically yeah like one more hit on the boss he was done mm-hmm. and i think it was jeff got hit by something that wasn't even an enemy it was it was an object in the yeah. area hit him killed him he was the main guy for that thing of it yeah completely wiped the rest <laughs> of the group because he died that's funny. yeah and it, it was if he would have landed on the ground they would have been fine boss mm-hmm. would have been beat, beaten they would have had it cleared right but instead they had to start all over yeah and i think it was probably another two hours before they actually got that close again yeah oh that's <laughs> funny Jeez. yeah no i'm excited i can't wait to try it's gonna it, be so. fun I, I mean friday i'm coming home straight home and then i'll probably order some horrible food for dinner because when i'm by myself i eat like a slob are you guys just gonna um, play it like blind the first time just to i don't know I mean, i'm gonna depends. watch videos well actually uh josh has done it i saw him in it yesterday i'm sure nate's done it nate's done it so i mean if it's if it's me you we can see if pisco will be on i don't know it's friday night he know. might not be he probably won't be but do you really want to play it no. first time with him no i don't not at all so pisco's not good <laughs> um, it's not that he's, he's not good he's good he just can't focus <clears throat> yeah and be good you know so like he's, when it comes to like you have to do it this way he's like i don't know what i'm doing and then he just does his own thing and anywho it seemed I like mean, it, if you guys have people that have done it before they'll be able to explain the mechanics because yeah. I, I noticed like watching the stream like brad was explaining all the mm-hmm. mechanics and i could just I, I just saw the look on jeff's face like he just he was only half listening. Yeah. So, like, when it, he got done, he's like, wait, wait, what do I have to do? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like Jeff. But the mechanics were, they were incredibly straightforward. It's yep. just a lot of, you have to pay attention yep. and you have to communicate. Yeah. Like, it, if you just do it and don't tell people, then you'll just keep failing. Yeah. That's so. how the other ones were. Um, I, I liked, it, like, uh, and a lot of the, stupid easy. A lot of the yeah. wow raids were like that too. Like if you didn't kind of like know what you were doing and coordinate yeah. with people, you weren't finishing it. Yeah, that's why well, like the the day one for these things, like the the mechanics are so like not difficult, but they're just a little obscure, and it takes people going from uh you know like like the day one when this this raid launched, the Friday after the game came out, it took like the first people to finish it like almost twelve hours straight Jesus. of playing. And I would never be able to. Do, I would never be able to no. be a first time raid runner like. Yeah. I'll never be able to figure out the first time. I've always, even in in Final Fantasy, even the just high level dungeons, not even the raids. Yep. You have to watch the videos. 
No. People have no patience for people who haven't well, at see, least in a typing the, game. See, that's that's different though, because that's like joining randos. Yeah, like, that if your pickup like, crews are awful, are dedicated. For that. You know, yeah. like these people are like, hey, we're doing the raid this day. Like, like I keep trying to say, I'm tr- I'm hoping that, like, I mean, I'm going to be on at like five thirty. If I'm doing random stuff, waiting for you guys, it's fine with me. I don't care. I'll probably be on by six if I'm going to grab food for on the way home. That's yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'll I'll talk to to Josh and and we'll talk to Nate and and Vogel and see if they all want to jump on and see if anybody has another friend who plays that wants to play but i'm sure like, nate will have a friend will do it maybe and you know and it's like anybody who wants to be on i'm gonna be on by like 5 30 6 o'clock on friday and that's my goal is to play that raid if anybody wants to join yeah um and i'd rather not do a pug you know i'd rather do people that i know just to make things a little bit easier you guys should both um stream it on mm-hmm. twitch like yeah. under your own accounts yeah soon as you're done go in and do the save thing so that it um it saves into your account and yeah. i believe you can download it yeah if you can't download it you can throw it to youtube and download it yeah and we yeah. can probably um like splice it together and post it on the yeah, site to like yeah. put both videos there's, together post it to youtube mm-hmm. and there's been things i've been try- wanting to do with the video stuff i still haven't made my video for my wedding on final fantasy so oh god i have it all saved yeah. the only I have thing all the I, pictures I, and everything too the only thing i have to do ahead of time is i i really i'm gonna keep playing throughout the week i'm hoping to get the exotic sword no there's no way because i still have to get, i have to get the 25 kills still i need 13 kills yeah i did a mayhem match and got one so then i'm not trying mayhem anymore uh i might just do something else and hope to god they come by so i might try that today but even then there's like four more steps after that is there really yeah it's Uh, not like do that and you're done there's a lot more to do so i'm probably not getting it by wednesday but i i want to try to get a better uh secondary i have some pretty good secondary weapons and they're my exotic so actually that's fine because i don't have an exotic main weapon or any other weapon all i have is the secondary is exotic so i'm good on that it's my helmet is still blue <laughs> it's the only and it's but it's not my weakest piece of armor my chest piece is which is a purple so like i want to try to work on those two because right now i'm 293 well, and if i get a better chest if i get a chest piece over 290 because i'm at 288 now it'll bump me to 294 295 easy yeah. um and my my primary weapon is 291 but i also have a 297 so i'm going to swap between those because i like them both um but yeah, I just I, that's my goal is just try to get more gear and better gear and get higher light level. Yeah. That way when we jump into this thing on Friday, I'll be all right. So I might just be spending the week doing uh, fucking um, strikes and shit, strikes and PvP, just to try to get shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna still be trying to get at least the missions done. the The PvP stuff I'm not gonna worry about, but the missions I want to get done and completed, so I don't have to bother with them anymore. And I can just do strikes each I, week. I just want to get that one PvP thing done so I can get the fucking move on with the sword quest. Cause I freaking still have sucks. to. I need to get like eight more rumble kills. And I don't care about that one. I just mean the sword thing. Dude, it's all I care about. I I ha- I have to keep doing uh, mayhem so I can get my. I need uh, twenty twenty more uh, grenade kills. So I need to do mayhem so I can what just keep grenade throwing kills? grenades. It's my. Uh, my void walker thing uh, i need the i need grenade i i before it was um energy drain kills in in pvp in pvp oh yes i don't care and now it's grenade kills in pvp you have to go through you know what that quest leads you to what's that it leads you to the weekly bounties for pvp for crucible and if you beat those you get a nightfall level reward from from completing these bounties so doing that mission like that series of missions doing that unlocks the pvp bounties for the nightfall pvp bounties and then completing those night- gives you a nightfall like reward which a is like fall pvp an, an, bounty right so because everybody was upset that not everybody was upset but people were like you know there's this nightfall activity for pve that you get you, it's really hard really difficult to do you get this ma- badass like gear at the end of it and how come there's nothing like that for pvp so they added something like that for pvp where instead of being a mission it's complete this series of quests and then you get five bounties complete those five bounties in a week get a nice reward that's crazy so every week but you don't have to do the quest every week. You yeah, get yeah the bounties every yeah. week. you just have to do the quest to get that that's crazy and it's you know for crucible people it's pretty easy to do for people like us who only do crucible to get the daily marks and shit not gonna be easy to do yeah so it's crazy it's crazy 
That's destiny. Yeah, that's Court of destiny Oryx. talk. So that so that covers destiny, right? Well, I spent some time with Court of Oryx too. I didn't do that last week. I don't know what that is. So it's, it's um, yeah, go ahead. It's 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 awesome. Um, you know how they have the public events in Destiny. I don't know if you ever got to do one of those where like you're like around. yeah, where the shit just like yeah. happened. I, I saw them, but I was never okay. You never did them or anything. No, because the one I saw it was. It was within like the first like two missions, so it was level like okay. two, gotcha. yeah. and it was level like eight, and yeah. it's like yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just done it. You get rewards just for I, being I, part of it. I tried. Yeah. I, well, there, it was beta still, so uh, yeah. nobody else was there. Yeah, there was. I, even when I played like that week, like early in launch, yeah. I never. I only saw like three other people like in world. I think it's a maximum of nine people per zone. Ah, uh, okay. So, but uh, it was one in like the zone you're in. The max you'll see is nine. Oh, but yeah, like nobody, nobody else showed up to do it. And yeah. I shot at a few guys, and they started coming after me. And that's when I realized what that they were like that much stronger than me. I'm like, yeah. nope, I'm done. And I just got out of there. Gotcha. So those like th- those public events, they've been altered. There's more of them now on the main planets. And they've been, okay. They've been all uh, changed the, a bit. So on their rewards aren't as great as it used no, to be. No, there it's used so to be a, a daily reward for completing one public event every day. You got uh, a package uh, in the mailbox for, with like random stuff in it. I think it was like a um, blue or purple item. Yeah, it was random. It could have been blue or purple. Or, uh, it could or have been like, ascendant. It could have been items. Yeah, yeah like whatever. Uh, that's been removed, which is disappointing. But what they've done is that on, uh, on the Dreadnought, the new location, there's a public event. There's no public events anywhere, I don't think. Uh, throughout the the whole area, but there yeah, are no. there are a whole bunch of uh, player created public events. So there's a terminal in the first area where you go and put a key into it if you have a key, and then it summons these like really strong uh, 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 cabal enemies to fight. Kill those, and you get another item that takes you onto an area to unlock another pseudo public event. Um, and it's just kind of like player created public events instead of like they're on timers. They're just going to show up when they feel like the court of Oryx is like the creme de la creme of public events on the dreadnought where you find these runes scattered throughout the worlds. Uh, you can just get them anywhere. You bring them to the court and there's three like statues that you sacrifice these runes to. And it summons one of Oryx's lieutenants out of a portal. And then up to nine people can jump in and shoot the fuck out of it and get rewards um the person who activates it gets the best rewards whereas everybody else gets rewards that are dropped from enemies and out of a treasure chest which are pretty decent i consistently get blues and a couple purples here and there so it's not bad but it's all player activated and it's just you go and there's nine people just hanging out there with you or like eight other people just hanging out with you dropping runes in killing things and it's just loot fests everywhere it's really fucking cool um, it does get repetitive though because the the level three thing changes weekly. So every time the level three rune is always the same enemy every time for an entire week. Yeah. So we kept fighting this this wizard guy who just he wasn't really that hard. It, the he's mechanics time, are a pain in the ass. He's just, yeah, he's just a little time consuming. The, the floor gets all I guess blighted in a way. I don't really poison. know how to explain. You can't it's stand poison. on it. But, like, there's enemies in four sections, and if you kill the enemy in the middle, the poison disperses. Then the two sides in the back, you can kill the enemy in each of those, and the poison disperses, and you can stand there. Nobody and cares the, about that. Sitting in the middle yeah. is all that matters. But this wizard really stays up top, so you have to, like, angle yourself properly to hit yeah. him. It was a pain in the ass. But um, he has a shield, but it's just a regular shield. It's not like yeah. a... Because uh, there's some enemies in the Court of Oryx where they have shields where it's two enemies come out and they have to be close together in order for their shields to disappear so you can hurt them. Or one has a shield that uh, has to be exploded by another enemy. So like the uh, the, hi- the corrupted wrong. hive walk over and if you kill that thing, it blows up and blows away his shield so that way you can damage him and then it comes back after time. So And there's people that don't understand that ever. I know, I hate it. But it's it's it's... It's neat. It's a lot of fun. So I I don't I forget where I actually heard this, mm-hmm. but I guess there's there's like a daily or weekly quest thing that you can like. It's like a quest that's already been done that's like harder or something like that and like time challenged or whatever. Oh, Maybe. the da- the the daily heroic. I guess yeah yeah. Um, I think that's there's it. a special one which uh, it came out in the Taken King. You go through that, and after like the third part. You go through a different door instead of what you're supposed to, and you jump into a teleporter, and you have ten minutes to clear this place. Yeah, apparently, if it's the same thing I, I heard, 
that door is only open if you get to it quick enough. Yeah. Like, if you don't get to it quick enough, it's closed, and it just, yeah, if, the mission finishes like it did originally. It's not, it's, nobody, can, you can't wipe. Yeah. So if you're wipe. doing it by yourself and you die, that door closes. If you're okay. with three people and everyone dies, door closes. But yeah, and then, did you do it? Or we we, we can't kill we've, everything in ten minutes. We've gotten there, we can't kill it's, it all. That's apparently that, fucking hard. That's what, that's what, I think it was probably a giant bomb. I think Brad was talking about it. Yeah. But I guess if you do clear it, mm -hmm. you get like a crazy good sniper rifle. Uh, you black get the, spindle. the black spindle, which is it it returns all the ammo in its clip so long as it only has a three shot clip so long as you get a precision shot with each one. Whereas the one that I have the hereafter mm -hmm. returns all four shots if I get a precision kill with each one. So it's useless in Everything in boss fights, pretty in much everything, because it's you know I, I have to kill shit with it, so I'm never going to do that. Um, but the black spindle, it being only three shots, which is awesome, and needing precision hits, not kills, phenomenal fucking gun. Yeah. Um, but it's so hard to get. Like everybody, it, that happened two week uh, two weeks ago on like a, a a Wednesday, and I read about it on Reddit. Like Reddit just like starts blowing up with this fucking black spindle. Do this mission, it's awesome. And I was like, okay, I'm doing it. So I get home, and it's me, walnuts, and Pisco, because Pisco was the only other person I knew who was playing at the time. Yeah. Um, and and we're like. Like, let's do it. And we get fucking wrecked the first. We tried it we, three times, and it's just goddamn. We were able to get to the back room with three and a half minutes left and still couldn't do it. Our second um, time, we made it with like six and a half minutes. Was it, I thought it was like four. We maybe. got there with a lot of time. It's just, it's, it's a lot of, it's I, fucking hard. I watched a video of guys do it uh, the other day, and they they had a tough time, and they'd done it before. Yeah. They had the black spindle. Yeah. They didn't need to do it. They did it to film it and to be like, here's how we do it. Yeah. And it's just, it's insane. Like, you have to, like, there's, so there's the boss, and then there's the orbs that spawn enemies. And even if you kill the orbs, the orbs respawn. But you still want to make sure you're killing those orbs so that fewer ads are coming in while you're trying to fight the boss. From what I understand, it's best to have one guy focus on the boss and two guys focus on orbs. And as yeah. soon as the orbs are dead, focus on the boss until the orbs come back. But yeah. It's fucking and it's so cool. Ha it's not just the boss you have to kill. You have to kill the room. Everything. Like everything has to die, has to die within those 10 minutes. And, and it's, it's not even just that room. There's two other rooms that lead well, up yeah. to it. It's but, it's it's so cool though. Like once that was discovered, everybody's like what else is hidden in this fucking game? Yeah. And Bungie keeps hinting like there's there's a lot more that you guys have not found yet. So they're going to reveal some they said this coming Thursday uh in in their weekly update. Um, they said it in the last update. They're like, you know, in the, in the next update, the last update was all about uh, Trials, of, Trials of Osiris and Iron Banner. Iron Banner's back this weekend and Trials the weekend after. Um, and then they said this coming Thursday, they're also in their weekly updates going to hint at some other hidden things in the game that we have yet to discover. So, like, there's a gun in the game that was announced by Game Informer when Taken King was the cover story like six months ago. And that cover story said, hey, to get this gun, the sleeper simulant, you have to find these golden age artifacts throughout the world, bring them to Banshee 44, he'll give you a quest, do the quest, you get this gun. Nobody's gotten it yet. I, wow. I had a quest no. from Banshee 44. I got Susano, which was the fusion rifle I was talking about earlier. Not the gun. I got it at, it, it, he gives it to you at 280, which normally when you get a weapon, they give it to you at like 200 or whatever. So I was like, well, maybe if I upgrade it. I'm I'm holding on to it. I'm going to upgrade it to 300. I'm sure 310 is the max. But 300 is probably what you need to get it to to get. You never know. Maybe it's like, possible. Do it. I'm and I have. I'm pretty sure holding the Golden Age relics, you can't you can't get another one until you get rid of that first one. You think so? Because I haven't gotten one. Okay. You get them from fighting the Taken on the other planets. Okay. I fought all the Taken on all the planets. Huh. I haven't gotten one from them since I've been holding on to this get one. Get rid of it. We'll tell Fogo to get I'm, I'm going to get rid of it and then fight Taken. And if I get another one, yeah, then that's the case. And Maybe. holding on to it doesn't do anything. Can you mute the dinging too? I don't know. Like I don't. <laughs> so like, I don't know how. I don't know how, <laughs> how does this eye thing work? <laughs> like, yeah. No, it's it's <laughs> muted. It's completely muted. Oh, it's I, not. It is. Um, just turn it off. <laughs> it's an Apple device. You don't need it. Yeah. But, so like this gun though, it's so 
uh, coveted because of how cool it sounds. You're so dumb walnuts. <laughs> this, this weapon is so coveted, though, that there's actually a, a Reddit, there's a subreddit dedicated to finding it. It's just full of people in their wow. tinfoil hat theories on how this weapon comes about because it's it's a heavy weapon fusion rifle whose uh, uh, like shots go through enemies and bounce off and walls. And bounce off walls, yeah. I want it. So at its like highest level, it bounces off walls seven times and can just go through enemies the entire time. So if you fire this thing in a room full of things, everything's dying, and it's awesome. So it's like it just sounds like a really cool fucking weapon, but nobody knows how to get it yet, yeah. even though it was explicitly told how to get it six months ago in Game Informer. There's, there's a theory that you need to have the weapon guy at level five, and since uh, the only way to upgrade him is to hand in the Golden Age relics, do his quests, and to do the um, yeah the the arms day, if no one's handing in those relics because they're thinking they need all of them, it's like one guy who thought it. So I don't know if nobody's doing it, but yes, yeah, so. I mean even I, I've been doing my weekly what's it called, and I'm only at two. So I, I honestly I'm I don't almost, think that's the case. I'm almost three. Yeah, I don't think, I think that's the case. Getting getting it to five is is that's such an arbitrary kind of like yeah. requirement that just seems stupid because um, most things required three before, and even then that was just to get everything from them. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's three. But I'll yeah, we'll, we'll end Destiny talk there for now. Yeah, no, was... for, forever. No, <laughs> for now. <laughs> Look, that, that was you, a forty minute intro. We're gonna have Raid to talk about next time. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You should have. You should have watched the raid let, yeah, the, before because now, now. At least I know what you guys are be talking about. I've seen it. That's true. That'll be fun. But here's the thing: if we can record it, I can tell you how shitty you guys were. At it. <laughs> if if we watch record us, it, no. <laughs> if we record it and then we like try and splice something together, I'll be playing it on the TV. No, you won't. While we'll be, we'll be talking splicing about splicing it. it together before we talk. Yeah, if you guys are doing it's it, fucking Friday. Friday. I'm not doing anything like that on. I'm, busy on saturday i i mean i might be golfing on saturday that's about it fine i'll give it to you and you can do it i could try yeah see exactly that's what i mean you i mean i i could it. actually do it next no no i'll be in new york next saturday yep, i could i could do it next sunday after we record but not then we can't that. watch it while we're talking exactly we'll, bring, we'll, put, we'll just bring up the giant bomb run of it no exactly. it's the same that's thing like 17 right. hours seven yeah, hours I, I i hope Hopefully with, like, Nate and, and, and Josh, uh, it won't take us down. Yeah, long. Josh seems like he was pretty good. So. Josh is, uh, uh, he, he's, he's a video gamer. Um, I don't know if you've ever met a person like that, somebody who's, like, a gamer. Uh, Josh is like that. He plays games a lot. Um, and he's we, good at them. We all play games a lot. Mm, We're not good at them, mm, but we all yeah, play that's games the a thing. lot. He's, he's good at them. <laughs> um, yeah, no, he's, Josh is a cool guy. Um, <laughs> He's yeah. He's he's pretty stoked about Battlefront too. So if you yeah. don't get it, I'll at least have him to play with. So that's fine. I, I haven't decided if I want it or not yet. Beta comes out next week. For some reason, you said Battlefront, and I heard Battlefield. I'm like, why the fuck are you getting Battlefield? I'm not 1942, man. That's the shit. <coughs> no, you stupid asshole. Uh, yeah, no. Battlefront beta starts on Thursday. So. Oh shit, that is this week, isn't mm -hmm. it? I can't wait. Well, we'll talk about that instead of Destiny. Yeah. Right. Well, we're done. So, <laughs> so uh, me and Eric had a 40 minute conversation about Destiny. Now, time for me and Cobb to have the 40 minute conversation about TV. Oh god. <laughs> Do we have to spoil all the shows you didn't no, watch? No, spoiler free. Spoiler free. God, but. We can't spoil it. You can. It. Shield was so good. Well, <laughs> like, tell my well, wife to did, stop going to school so we can watch TV. Do you want to finish the introduction that you started forty minutes ago? <laughs> that was the introduction. Oh, uh, did you finish it? Oh, uh, why not? I don't know. You normally say who we are and everybody ask what we knows did. who we are. That's you're Chris Cobb. There's Walnuts and I'm Eric. Good enough. No, but you're not gonna, here because there's football on or something. Football. Well, yeah, actually there is football on because they're playing in London. I don't care about yeah, that <laughs> shit. I made that I, I, up. I heard England is is trying to get their own um, NFL team. I heard that like last year. Is they they still, started. No, they're, they're trying real yeah. hard now. They started. Uh, they started having uh, games there last year. Fucking England. And they're the first game is this year, and it's All screwing right. people this up is, with fantasy. This is way too much football talk. I, I'm just saying, way too much football talk. I mean, maybe David's watching it right no, now. No, maybe no. David, if you are, how are the Jets doing? David, if you're watching football, stop it. He might be, He's a wrestling guy. He might be a sports guy, too. I don't care. I told him to stop it. All right, so, what else you got? I mean, we got TV. I mean, that's, I I, that's all I did too. was Destiny and TV. What did you play? I bought Super Mario Maker. No. What? Bullshit. Dude, it's awesome. Why you did you buy so over, many dude? things? Um, I got uh, a coupon. 
Stop getting coupons. I like coupons. How do you get coupons? The internet. From where? Best Buy. Best Buy coupon. Every time I use my Best Buy card, I get like the reward points. Stop using your Best Buy card. Oh, stop going to Best Buy. <laughs> it's the worst store. You know what? I don't like it there, but they keep saying, hey, you have free money. That's Come buy I, things. I just stopped. I used my last free money on like something that cost me $10, and then I never had to go so again. I should be done now because I only have like... So I kept using the card on like small things, or and plus every time I buy something, I got the points for that. Yeah. Um, but I only have like twenty two points left now. Good. So good. It'll be a while before so I get. Tired of you going to Best Buy and getting all this stuff? No, I'm just I'm, jealous. I actually like Not these, getting all these new ridiculous. games and shit because um, it's then it gives us something new Dude, to talk about. Mario Maker is so much fun though. Yeah. Yeah. Have you like played the hardest level in the game? I've pl- I mean, not the hardest level, but I've I've played a bunch of different ones. Okay. Um. Some of them are, are really inventive, and other ones are just clusterfucks. Yeah. Um, there was one, I think it was called Think Hard, that there's a hidden block that you have to run back and hit when the level starts. But when the level starts, it's just every enemy they could fit on the screen at once coming at you. Nice. <laughs> um, and a mushroom. Maybe a fire flower. It, it, there's too much shit to see what's going on, but I at least go from Little Mario to Big Mario as soon as the level loads. Um, but then I immediately lose it because there's an enemy on top of me. But you have to run back, hit the invisible block that I just accidentally found out was there, and it's uh it's New Super Mario Brothers style. So it's the um, the helicopter hat. Mm-hmm. You get that, and you can float above stuff and take a pipe, and then you just end up in a room that's nothing but helicopter hats and a giant Goomba. Mm-hmm. So like it's one of those you could die on it a thousand times and never figure it out. Yeah. If you didn't happen to move back and notice that block there. Mm-hmm. Um. And then there was another one. You can the spike shell guys that Lock Two throws out, yeah. and the um, the beetles. You can shake them when you're making a level and use their shell as a hat. Okay. So I, I started this one level, and it's I can't think of their names now. Um, the fucking the dudes that just drop the stones, with the face. Yeah, thank you. I'm sorry. Swamp. Um, <laughs> there's a bunch of them. That are all high enough where you can run across. And then the last one is a little bit lower. So you can't get past him before he hits you. Mm-hmm. But there's a spike shell on top of a block. And you hit it. And you have to run under it. And you have it land on Mario's head. And then when you run past them, they hit your head and they just die. That's and you need, cool. you need to keep that the rest of the level. So mm-hmm. that you can make it through everything. That's pretty cool. Yeah. like the, And then there's those auto run levels. Yeah, those ones are fun. Like They're, they're cool to just see. Yeah. Because yeah. you're just... You know, it's just a, this crazy Super Mario Rube Goldberg machine. Yeah, so, some of this like I there was one you, you can use amiibos to change yeah. Mario. Yeah. Um. So there's there was one where it the the I forget the title was like Sonic and then it had in parentheses just run. Mm-hmm. So at the first thing you do there's a there's a block you hit it there's a mushroom the mushroom turns you into Sonic mm-hmm. and then you're just supposed to run if you jump or anything you screw it up. Yep. But as long as you keep running. It just flies you through the level, and you miss all the enemies and everything. Yeah, I made the mistake. Like I didn't know what was going on when I first started, and I jumped by mistake, and I lost Sonic, and I had to finish the rest of the level. It's just Mario, and it wasn't oh, as cool. That's not fun. <laughs> um, and then I, I've made a, a bunch of levels, like just, just like real quick, because I'm sure you guys heard they do this stupid thing where you don't start the game with all of the items to create levels. Yeah, yeah. So when you start it, you can make original Mario. And New Super Mario Brothers. Like, those are the two level styles. And there's, like, a seven or eight items you can choose from to, like, build your level. Yeah. And that includes ground elements and blocks and all. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's every day you get another shipment for nine days. I thought they patched that out, though. Kind of. Okay. You don't have to wait the full day. If you spend enough time building a level, the delivery shows up early. But I spent half an hour building a level and a delivery never showed up early. You could always just change the clock. On That's what I multiple did. Times. <laughs> okay. I did that. Here's the problem. The game doesn't always, at least mine didn't register every time. Yeah. So when you when you load the game, you hit maker, it starts the maker. If you have a delivery, delivery shows up and it says, you know, you just got the Mario Brothers 3 shit along with the ghost house or whatever. Or um, it was airships for Mario 3. So you get like a different level area. And then you get different elements you can put into that. Which, cool. And in that little update that says you got that, it says, make a make a level for at least five minutes to queue your next delivery. So mm-hmm. then you just mess around for five minutes and it'll tell you, you know, you have a delivery of such and such coming tomorrow. 
sometimes that never showed up. I'd spend 15, 20 minutes and never get the prompt. So, you know, I, I'd close the game. I'd move it up a day just in case I missed it and I wouldn't get anything. Mm -hmm. So then I would go back in and I have to spend another like five, 10 minutes and then I would get the prompt. Mm -hmm. So there were a few times where I just, it just didn't register that I was actually making a level. Yeah. Even though like I had to close the game, reopen it and all like it, it was just frustrating because you could only, if you want to make like an actual level, yeah, you want to get all the stuff first. You don't want to make, because you can only upload 10 levels. Yeah. So, like, you don't want to waste your time making a level with the first six items you get. Yeah. And then uploading it, and then I guess you have to overwrite it or something afterwards. So, it's just easier to do that whole clock thing. But right. But it took me a couple hours to unlock everything that way. That's horse shit. That's Did you play the 100 days, Mario's mode? I played the 10 Mario's mode so far. No. The 100 Mario's mode is all the creator levels. Yeah. And I don't know how... I, I, I just... I didn't play a lot of levels. Like, I spent a lot of time making them. Mm-hmm. And then, um... I, uh, sorry, I drawn a blank there. I played a bunch of just random stuff. Like, I was just going in, playing levels. If you um, do 100 Mario's mode and beat it, you get a Mario costume for free without having to buy an amiibo. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I know apparently if you can beat all four of the world, um, the world championship levels, you mm-hmm. get something too. I don't know that. I yeah. guess maybe you get an, a Luigi or something like that. Uh. I don't remember exactly, but yeah, there's, they also, did you guys have Mario Paint? I never did, no. <sighs> no. We never oh, you guys didn't have Super Nintendo. All right, so in Mario Paint, there was this weird fly swatter game mm-hmm. where you would use the little mouse that it came with and you'd have to um, click on flies. And as the game progressed, um, different types of bugs would come in. So you'd get like wasps and bees and flies that broke into little flies and mm-hmm. shit like that. They have that in this as like a <laughs> hidden mini game. Oh, God. It doesn't always show up. But every once in a while, little flies will start buzzing on your screen. And yeah. if you tap one, it loads the game. Huh. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like it was. It was actually kind of neat. Bless you. That's um, pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, I have one level that I'm working on that I actually want to upload. Mm-hmm. That I think I've been working on for like two, two and a half hours altogether. <laughs> nice. Um, I do want Mario Maker. I'm, like, I'm going to hope it goes on sale sometime. It's just fun to like. It's fun to troubleshoot how like, you know, how far can I jump from this single little block floating in the air? Yeah. So that you can make it possible or so. I like when you have to bounce off of stuff. Mm-hmm. So, like, I like having, like, just those chains of, you know, here's a bunch of turtles, and then a f- bullet hit, flies, you have to hit the bullet and land on something. Um, so, I have a lot of that going on, but I have it set up where once you land, you land on a bunch of spike guys. So, you have to do all that with the, the spinny jump. Mm-hmm. If you don't do the spinny jump from the, the beginning, you're just going to land and die and have to do it all over. Mm. I also have a random Bowser in the level. Mm -hmm. So if you fall down or you go through the wrong pipe, you come up and there's just Bowser and there's no way to get away from him. Well, that's mean. (laughs) That's so mean. I watched a stream of um, Dan Mm -hmm. making a a level. And he he made a box of nothing but um, like the spike balls that a pipe comes through. You can't get back up to the pipe. And there's two bullet bills throwing superstars the whole time. You can't die. You can't get out of the room. You just have to reset. Hmm. He also put a giant Bowser at the very beginning of the level that chases you through it. <laughs> That's... So if you don't move quick enough, there's just a Bowser behind you all of a sudden. It's scary as shit. God. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah. People are awesome. No, like th- there's, some, there's some really cool stuff you can do with it. There's a few things missing that I kind of wish were in it, like the... um. Did you guys at least ever play Mario World? Yeah. yeah. Right. You, do you know the um the saws? They they literally look like chainsaws on the ropes, and they go back and forth and kind of up and down. I think so. They were on the um the bridge level that was that connected the cave level to the forest level. Mm-hmm. Um, it was really they were cool because if you had Yoshi, Yoshi could jump on them, yeah, and he would just bounce to the next one. They don't have them. They have the spinning saw blades. Yeah. And I was hoping, like, I could shake that, because a lot of items, if you shake it, it turns into something different. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it, they're not there, and that would have been cool to mess with those, because then you could have Yoshi in the level, and... Yeah. They even have, um... I, I didn't know how they were going to do this, whether, like, Mario... Because, like, obviously, Yoshi wasn't until Mario World. hmm So they have, um... If you throw, like, Yoshi down, and get, um... You throw the Yoshi egg and say you switch it to Mario, like Mario Brothers. It's not Yoshi. It's just the boot from Mario 3. Hmm. Like, in a slightly less rezzed version. Yeah. Um, and same thing, the um, 
the the feather or the leaf. It's you know feather in world, leaf in three, spinny cap in New Super Mario Brothers. But in a re- regular Mario Brothers, it's a question mark mushroom, which is what the amiibos put out. But it, so far, the only thing that that it does is turn me into a spring. <laughs> but I don't jump higher or anything. I'm just the little fucking spring. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe if you time the. I tried. Like, I messed around with a little bit, and nothing happened. Well, huh. you you do kind of suck at video games. Better than you. I've never had to switch to easy mode. Oh, <laughs> well, shit. I didn't have to switch oh, to easy shit. mode. Oh, shit. I never switched to easy mode. He's pulling out the easy mode. I played easy mode right away. Pulling out the easy mode. It was like Eric and Shawhead were having difficulty in normal. Fuck it, I'm playing easy. Oh, look, you beat easy, and you get to go to New Game Plus normal with all your shit. Great. I beat the game twice before they beat it once. So who's a lo- who's an idiot now for not doing easy mode? You. No. Oh, an idiot for doing easy mode. No. You don't get the real experience. That's how they made it. They that made it that way for bitches. That that was a real that's experience. That's like that's like turning on like the new Donkey Kong or Super Mario games and be like, oh look, they give me this thing to get through the level easier. Thanks. Let's take that. So that's what? for bitches. That that's like um the Nathan Drake collection has has a new difficulty. Yeah. It has two. It has a bitch mode. Basically, it has bitch mode, and then it has you're an idiot mode. Like, like beyond bitch mode? Yeah, they have um, crush... Well, no, like the other way. Oh, yeah. So they have crushing, which was original. Yeah. And now they have something past that if you beat crushing. Oh, fucking awesome. I and then, then they also have... You know, they have easy, normal crushing, and then they have adventure before easy, yeah. which seems like it's just you can't die mode. Yeah. So this way, if you just want to see the story, you can just go through the game and see the story. That's cool. Because it's got a really good story. I'm really excited for that game. Um, I kind of want it really bad. It, you know what? The first one, from from the stuff I've been reading and, and seeing, they didn't improve, like, um, they didn't add any of the improved mechanics that, like, the later games no. got. No. So it's still, like the, like, the grenades and all are still stupid. Yeah. But the game still looks really good. It yeah. looks better than a lot of the other stuff I've seen. So um, once you can tell one is is the older version, but yeah, two no, and definitely. three still look really good. Yeah, I watched. Uh, they had like on Game Informer had the first nine minutes of the first Uncharted game. So it's you know like the the boat scene when the pirates come in and everything. And I was like the, the cut scene and the game itself looked flawless. They looked exactly the same, which was really cool. And I just I I just have so many fond memories of that fucking game. Like, okay, it was a I, great I game. It, I beat it nine times. <laughs> you did beat it nine times. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, I, I didn't. You beat it before there were trophies, and then they put trophies in, so you. Ble- they didn't retroactively give me the trophies, so I had to beat it multiple times again just to get the trophies. Because I was like, "No, fuck you! I earned this. I'm getting. Them. <laughs> I earned this by earning this a second time. <laughs> it's like, no, I should have this. I'm gonna get it again. Watch me, and I did. Maybe it again, at least like these idiot. have all the trophies. Yeah, I don't know if they have the the three separate platinums though. I think so they I know, like the Sly collection. I think it was did that. Yeah. Where Sly, Sly had three. Platinums. Yeah, each game had its yeah. own platinum. So it should. We could just go. There's, there's trophy they, websites. They've got that extra stuff trophies in it now too, because um, there's one. They have the photo mode, so you can take like yeah. the pictures. If you switch to that and take a picture, you get a trophy. Yeah, that's usually how that works. Um, um, there's, there's. I know that uh, the one thing that I'm excited about is in Uncharted Three, they weren't able to give you the level select and like uh, weapons, like starting like modifiers that the first two games gave you when you beat the game so they added that into the third one. Oh, nice uh, they weren't able to do it because of like like restraints on the like the engine that they used but now that they've had more time to work with it and shit they were able to do it for the ps4 version so you'll be able to go through and get a lot of those not the trophies easier but just toy around with the game like you couldn't before which is yeah. really exciting that was my favorite part of beating those games, just being able to like run around with a fucking Gatling gun for no reason, just like in the first level and just wreck everything. Fuck you, pirate ship. Yeah, those games were just... Th- they were a lot of fun. They're so good. <laughs> so good. Um, but yeah, I might get that. I might not. I probably won't. I might wait for Christmas, but I want it. It's on my list. I want it so bad. Just because I-, I love Uncharted. I might wait until like it drops in price and pick it up used or something, because I own all three of them. Like I can just play them on PS3. No, you can't. It's not the same. But it kind of is. The is. Same, but it's the original. <laughs> it's not. See, yeah, I, like uh, that's the other thing is like I could just play them, but here they are easily accessible on PS4. Fun fact: to download it, the entire thing, it's 44 gigs. Jesus Christ! To download Uncharted Collection, did you know that to download Fallout 4, it's only 23 gigs? Yeah. Well, that's for Xbox One. That's. 
Like that's, I saw that the other day. It doesn't day. matter. That's 23 gigs versus 44 gigs. That makes me sad. Yeah. Well, that you got three sad. games in one game. So. That, that doesn't, to me, that doesn't matter because they're three last gen games, you know, and they're not open world and they're very confined and, and on rails, you know, for the most part. So, but for those three games to max, to have double the amount of data for those three games which take you no more than five to eight hours to complete a piece versus fallout which is hundreds of hours 23 gigs that just makes there might be different um like what's the word like like fallout might run off the disc a little bit more or whatever but also look at how beautiful uncharted is and look out fallout graphically that's what i mean like that's that's that's, that's, that's what my, it is. That's why I'm okay. sad. Here, here's the one thing though, which I I think it's funny. The Uncharted games look about the same as Fallout Four, which is made for the next gen. Right. That's that's my concern. Yeah. Is, is Fallout Four, as I've said before, it doesn't look that pretty. And Uncharted, the collection, at least the second and third game, the first game not so much, but the second and third game, they're going to look gorgeous on PS4, and they're they're double the data, like double the yeah. data for this box for this game versus that game. It's just like, oh, uh, you're an open world game. It's supposed to be gorgeous. What the fuck are you doing wrong? Besides everything. It's not Skyrim. <laughs> it should be. Skyrim with guns. They're going to mess up Skyrim too, I bet you. The Probably. next the next Elder Scrolls is going to look like 100% like a Pixar movie. Well, what does it yeah, so look like? I can guarantee you what? Elder Scroll Online. What does it look like? It's all right. It's, it's oh. kind of like Elder Scrolls. Yeah, it looks like the Elder Scrolls stuff. You know, it's not like cartoony or anything. Yeah, it's, I know it's dark and things like that. How did it's, we even get on Uncharted? What? How did we even get on Uncharted? Does it matter? I don't know. Eric said he wanted it. We came up. On yeah, it I just I was just trying to think of that. Like, we were talking about Mario, and I have no idea how we jumped on Uncharted. I don't know. Whatever. It I mean, happened. It's a good game, so it's awesome. I want it. Eric likes to steal conversations. Yeah, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't get to talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You talk all day. I don't. Isn't that what your job is? Talk no. on the phone? No. It's waiting for people to stop calling so that I'm not talking on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> now, a lot of it is doing work and then calling and saying it's done and then hanging up on them before they have a chance to ask about something else. <laughs> you know what that's like. <laughs> Walk into an office. Hey, I'm here to fix this. Oh, hey, this is broken, too. Yeah, I'm not here for that. Not here for that. Bye. Oh, it's, it's a new bill. Like... Man, we, we just migrated a client to 365. I did that on Friday, too. Like the, the exchange and everything. Yeah. Um, the one guy t- we had a, d- a different consultant was down from New York to yeah. do the, like the on-site support day one. Mm-hmm. He installed Office for this one guy on his la- on his like work laptop. Yeah. And then I get an email the next day. Um, this wasn't installed all the way. Like the the thing came up and then all the icons disappeared, which I have no fucking clue what it he's talking about. Doesn't mean anything. So when I when I look at his laptop when I'm there this week and I go in the start and all programs they're all right there. Like yeah. they're all installed and fine. I'm like. They're all right here. The yeah. only thing he didn't do was uninstall 2010. Okay. But they're all right here. Yeah. I don't know what icon. He's like, well, they, they don't have the the icons didn't get pinned to the taskbar the way they did on my other computer. Then pin them yourself, you fucking asshole. Because I guess Windows 8 must auto pin. Windows 8 doesn't auto pin shit. No, they, I no don't. when you install, because I, I swear yeah. he had no office on this computer. I installed office um, mm. 20, well, it's 2016 now too. Yeah. So I installed 2016 on his other laptop, yeah. which is Windows 8. It auto-pinned all the programs that's to his dumb. taskbar. That's dumb. It didn't happen on his Windows 7 laptop that's like four years older. And he thought it just didn't hit, that the other guy just didn't install it all the way. Some people are so dumb. <laughs> yep. I had the, there was the, the one problem guy with my, my job on Friday who like every after we got his Outlook and shit set up every two minutes, came running up to me and this other guy like, hey, uh, this doesn't seem to be working right. Like, yes, yes, it is. This is exactly how it's supposed to work. Yeah, but like, on my own one, it's just, I don't care about your own run. It's fucking working right. Like, after like eight of them, we're just like, no, just go sit down, do your fucking job and leave us alone, God damn it. We're going <laughs> to get our shit done. It's fucking two o'clock. We're hungry. Leave us alone. <laughs> Office brought people lunch and we didn't get to participate. You no, know, it was good because I got back and the lady who sent us on the job, the, the project manager, she had grabbed sandwiches for each of us and threw them on our desk. Oh, that's sweet. So I sat down. I was like, who brought me sandwiches? They're like, it was Patricia. I was like, badass. So <laughs> I, I went and gave her a high five and said, if you need me to do more jobs, just remember to keep lunch on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about the pay. Just, just give me lunch. Well, I mean, they're already paying me. So I, know. I was like, just make sure you feed me i'll do whatever you need me to do i don't care um fucking work man it's ridiculous yeah work sucks yeah. i could bitch and bitch and bitch about work i know you could 
I don't really have a whole lot of negative things to say about my job. Everybody's really cool. So it's usually it's it's not the job. It's just some of the stupid people you end up having to deal with. Yeah, I had one guy. I spent uh, not to steal and and jump off way off topic, but I spent like an hour on the phone with some guy about QuickBooks the other day because QuickBooks just infuriates me to no end. QuickBooks is so dumb. The, the whole program is built horribly. Yeah. Did you know that you could have multiple versions of QuickBooks on your computer and yeah. they'll all work the same? Yeah. yeah. But none of them can touch the same database that the other one's touching because that'll break shit. And like, so when I was talking to this guy. I was like, that's not right. Why would you, you can't do that? And he's like, oh, I don't know. It's what they have. And I'm like, why? why? And just one of the like team leads have to be walking by. And he's like, you can do that. And I was like, hold on a second, sir. And I look at him like, the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> he's like, you can have multiple versions of QuickBooks on your computer. You can have you can have 10, 12, and 15 all on your computer all running at the same time with three different databases. You just can't. I was like, I know you can't cross database, but why would you do that? He's like, it's not the right way to do it. No, you should just update the old database to the new version and then not use the old one anymore. But some people do that and i was like that's wrong can i tell him that's wrong because it's wrong they shouldn't be doing that just upgrade everything to 15 and that makes everything infinitely easier because now i'm sitting here struggling to figure out why and then it was like another 45 minutes until i figured out like what the fuck was going on and it was just because some of the other people had saved the database under a different name and he didn't know it and that was the whole issue people do stuff like that i was like he's like oh that was all it was was like yeah he's like i'm gonna have to talk to them i was like yes tell them not to change the name of shit because like why why did they do that that doesn't fucking make sense and this is so dumb that we spent an hour on this i want to go home bye <laughs> we run, run quickbooks at work and QuickBooks it's just sucks. every day every time i enter it and go to leave it's either do you want to back up or do you want to update and it's like well update why no. haven't we fucking updated it like nope. why hasn't the the it guys come to everyone with quickbooks and updated it because the way it's here my last job the way it worked out was was quickbooks was used by like eight people they all accessed the same database and if one of them updated we then had to spend the rest of the day updating everybody else because nobody else knew how to click the fucking update button so then one of us had to walk away from actually dealing with the people that pass money to go click update on everybody and then they could all work again but that's the issue is it is not going to walk around and do it because you guys should just be able to click update on your own but if you click update, then the entire office is going to go, what happened to QuickBooks? And well, start exactly, freaking out. So. It's not just one. It's not like a group. It's like primarily the entire company. Yeah. Anybody that has to deal with checks. But see, and that's the thing. They'd QuickBooks. have to go, like your IT department would yeah. have to go around and manually do it for every person to make sure that nothing broke. And they'd probably have to do it off hours. No. Just to make sure you don't have that one asshole who doesn't read their email first and logs in. Yeah, realistically, it should just be like you know updated on on the the you know application server, and then everything should be fine for everybody. But that's you know no no company is set up properly, so it yeah, doesn't really matter. Many places don't have that, and it's not even many places. It's nobody group, has that. Group policy generally doesn't work right. <laughs> if it's set up right, it does. We have this one guy who lives by GPO. Anything that needs to get done for anybody that calls in, he immediately goes and sets a GPO for it to be done. And and then the next day, it's working. But he won't do anything to their computers that day. He'll be like, "All right, yeah, it'll be working for you tomorrow." And then he'll you know just funny? fix it in a GPO. I, I, why doesn't he just have them like force update the group policy right there so and that it'll be working on the spot? Because then, because then, if it doesn't work, he has to stay on the phone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> he's he's one of those guys. He's funny. He talks so fast on the phone too. Like if he's leaving a message, you can't understand him. He just leaves the phone number. He's like, "Hi, my name is right by." And just that, like that fast, and in that it's, amount of time, everything he needs to say gets said, including the callback. I've number. I've had so many people call me back, like, yeah, um, I think I'm supposed to be call- talking to you. I was like, okay, are you Richard? Yeah, yeah. You spoke so fast, I couldn't really understand anything you were saying. Speak I was slower. like, I'm like, did I? Uh, most of the time, like, hi, I'm, hi, this is Richard from blah blah blah, and I'm calling to get tax information for blah blah blah. That's as fast That's as I'm too talking. Fast. Like I talk fast too, just because uh, when I get the chance to leave a message, I, they, like I'm paranoid. I'm like, I have to leave this message now, or somehow they're going to answer the phone and talk to me. <laughs> this isn't an answering. Machine. I know they can't do that, but I have to just in case. This isn't ancient '90s answering machines. Anymore. No, and then right. usually within two minutes, they're calling back. I'm like, motherfucker, goddamn people. Yeah, then you, you always hope when you leave that message that somebody also get the call when they call back mm-hmm. in. <laughs> 
No, it's it's the the worst part is there's the guy right in front of me, uh, you know, like like faces my desk. We have a wall in between us, though. The guy right in front of me, he's he's one of those guys that doesn't like that doesn't do work. So every time he grabs a ticket, he analyzes it, analyzes the history of the client, spends like twenty minutes doing this, and then asks the last person who worked on them if they want to handle this ticket. It's like, but that has nothing to do with what I worked on them last with. So why don't you just do it? He's just one of those guys. And every time if he's working on something, every time he does anything, he has to run it by the team lead first. Anything. Hey, so um, this person's having trouble with their printer. Can I call them up? Team lead's like, yeah, call them up and see what's going on. All right, yeah, all right, I'll do that. So he calls them up and like talks to them for five minutes. He's like, all right, let me put you on hold. Hey, yeah, so they're saying that they need the printer reinstalled, Dave. Should I, should I do that? Yes, go ahead and do that. And he's not an idiot. This guy knows his shit. He just doesn't want to fucking he, do work. Is he new? Or? No, he's been there for like longer than the assistant team lead. He's only been there for six months. This guy's been there like nine months. Okay. He knows his shit. He just doesn't want to do work. So every chance he gets, he questions it and passes it off as soon as he can. He's horrible. I have I have someone like that. He's just office. like, and, and it sucks because he's kind of a nice guy, but I just, I hate him yeah. when it comes to work. I'm like, just please leave me alone and just do shit. Stop it, please. So I'm kind of glad I don't work directly with people. Yeah. Like, I don't mind it. Everybody that I work with is really cool. It's just like whenever the phone rings or anything happens or he's working on something, I just get immediately infuriated because it's like, just fucking do it, dude. He's the only one that I really have a problem with. Yeah. It's not like a, a personal issue. Like, I, I hate him. I just, it's well, an observation that I, I wish the team lead would notice and talk to him about, you well, know? So I, I had a... It was actually one of my clients, and the girl didn't realize this, but one of, one of the people on our help desk, I think she might be an intern. Yeah. Um, she, she didn't know how to install RAM. Okay. In, like, a desktop computer. Okay. Which I thought was a little weird. I'm like, you're working help desk, and you've, you have no idea how this works? Mm-hmm. But I'm like, all right, not a big deal. It's easy enough to walk somebody through. Mm-hmm. She apparently didn't, like, do anything with these people, though, because when I called up and I'm talking to the lady, she's like, yeah, I, I've had to do this before, like, to, like, take it out and, like, put, like, it back in when the stuff was wrong but this one's so much smaller than what's already in there i don't know how it'll fit because she bought notebook ram for her desktop computer yeah so like i had to explain that and i'm like and you also have to make sure that you bought like the right speeds and everything because you can't just you know grab the first thing you see and put it in there right she's like oh oh well no one told me that no one should have to tell you that you should should just hey she shouldn't have just been buying the memory herself no it's just, but it, it's 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 actually one of the Philadelphia clients. It's just they have that they own thrift stores, hmm. so it was one of their call centers in like Virginia. So they're so far disconnected from everything else. Yeah, they just do their own thing. Yeah, that's goofy. Should be weird. Yeah, should be weird. We should talk about games and stuff some more. I guess so. <laughs> why? Well, I don't know. Why do you like talking about games or something? I just want to talk about work. I mean, work work stuff is boring. Yeah, Works no, all right. No one wants to hear us talk about work. Why not? I don't know. I don't hate my just, job. I, I wouldn't. I don't hate my job, but I hate my job. You should, look, you should get a different job. I wish I, I could. just want to say that. I wish I could. Um, um, but yeah, so Mario Maker was it's a lot of fun. <laughs> you guys should get it. I'm done with Mario Maker. Talk about something else. TV. Yeah, there was TV on. Was television. I played. Some, I played some more Metal Gear, but Nobody I don't want to talk Gear. about that. That was a bad experience. You had a bad experience. I had yeah. a bad experience. Fucking fuck, fucking Mission Sixteen. I hate it. Well, why don't you? Like, just... is it hard or is it upsetting? Oh, it's so hard. That's what um, she said. You have to. You have to get a truck. Okay. And Fulton it away. Like, get it out of the mission area. Um. After these magic creatures show up that are damn near impossible to kill and if you if you're super quick and incredibly lucky you can run in real quick um activate the cutscene where these things pop up and then as soon as the cutscene's over run to the truck and send it away and then if you start running again immediately after that there's a good chance they'll look at you and not knock the truck out of the air if you're unlucky, though, they knock the truck out of the air, and then the truck explodes, and you fail the mission. Okay. Your other option is to run around away from the truck and try and beat these things with a rocket launcher, <laughs> which is almost as hard, or even harder, I should say. I got close twice. I managed to jettison the um, the truck away, and then I just ran, because I was thinking if I could just run out of the, the hot zone... Like I have to, every other time these things have popped up, I just run away from them, and eventually you're you get a message like, "All right, you're clear, you're good." You know, get to the extraction point. Um, that didn't work. 
No. They 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 chase me down and kill me because they can like teleport ahead of you and shit. Um, the second time, there's um there's shipping containers and you can jump on top of them and then fault in yourself away. And there's a button prompt real quick to um hold on that if you hit it, you know you'll get jettisoned away to base. Can can you set up the vault in and then get in the truck? No, because as soon as you put put it on it, it's in the air already. Oh, okay. So, but that's why you jump on top of a shipping container, you you hit it. And then you hit triangle again, and you grab onto it, and it takes you back to base. Okay. Um, I had never done it before, so I didn't know how it worked. So there are three shipping containers in a row. First shipping container I ran over to, and I, 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 I hit the Fulton button, and I tried to jump onto it. But you have to jump onto it before you hit it. Yeah. So that one got taken away. That one flew off into the sky. The second one, I jump on top of it, hit the Fulton button, wait for a prompt. Never notice that it's just immediately you just hit triangle real quick and you grab on. So I fell off of that one. And died. That, no, that one goes away. The skulls are around me. They're shooting. I jump on the third one. They're lined up on the other side of it, shooting me. <laughs> um, I go to Fulton it away. As it starts to listen to the air, last shot hits me and I die. <laughs> Game hates you. No, that that is... I know Drew apparently got through it really easily. Um David, who's probably listening to this, knows exactly what I'm talking about and had just as much trouble with it. Okay. Um, yeah. That I whole, saw them talking Yeah, that about mission it. is just... And that's not apparently not even the hardest mission. I think that's dumb that they have, like, these, like, monster things in that game. Well, haven't they always had, like, supernaturally things in them? Because, I mean, you had Psycho Manus in the first one. I mean, yeah. It's and super, Cyborg Ninja. But not, like, not like monsters. Like, I don't know what these monster things are. I, like. Apparently, there's some sort of genetically engineered soldiers, but they're skulls. I don't know if that was in another game. No. Um, they're from Cypher, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but they, they basically, they have superpowers. They, they, they can teleport, and they can materialize guns and shit. That's they're insane. You have to mean apparently like, you can apparently beat them with like well timed rocket launchers and stuff like that. The trouble is that it's a base that you have to fight them at, mm-hmm. and I think it's time sensitive because if you wait too long, the truck leaves the base and you have to follow it to another one. Okay, and then it's just a matter of you like the same thing happens just in a different location. Um, but every one of these bases is full of people. This first one seems to have the least amount of people, and there's no tanks guarding it. Okay. So you can potentially get the truck away before the tanks show up and all that bullshit. But as soon as the skulls pop up, if you can't just get away, the base is still full of soldiers to attack you also. So even while you're fighting the skulls, the soldiers are idiots and they start shooting off mortars and stuff like that, (laughs) which inevitably blow the fucking truck up. That happened twice. Because I I, I thought maybe I could go in and have quiet, just kill everybody before I activated the cutscene. As soon as she starts sniping people, though, they start firing mortars and stuff into the air, <laughs> and they blew the truck up. <laughs> Their own fucking truck, they blew what it up. What about if you wait until the truck leaves the base, and then you try and hijack it while it's in route? As soon as you get near the truck, it triggers the cutscene. There are two tanks escorting the truck. So there's a tank in front and a uh, tank in back. If you're super careful and lucky, you might be able to sneak up on one ta- on the back tank, faulting it away, <laughs> and then make your way to the next one. But again, you'd have to, you'd have to go in there probably with your horse and just be very quick about it. Um, maybe even drop, maybe even leave the horse or a decoy in the road so that everything has to stop for a minute. Yeah, you have it poop in the road for a bit. Um, but it's just one of those. It's 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 easier to do it before there's tanks involved because then you have the skulls plus two tanks firing at you. Yeah, true. That's just silly. It sounds yeah. like fun. I mean, it's cool. It's just. I got Mario Maker. I'm like, I'm not going to do this mission for a little while because... <laughs> yeah. I want to get that game. I almost played Dark Souls yesterday. Both of those games. You don't need to play Dark Souls. You got Destiny. Well, I mean, no one was on. So? And I played, like, I played as much of Destiny as I could. I have the mission where I have to go kill Fallen on each of the planets. Whatever. And I'm like, you know what? I'll do that as it happens. Because I went and I killed, like, four Fallen and it was 1%. I'm like, fuck that. Yeah. So I'll just do that as it goes and not, like, try and get it all at once. Yeah. So I was, like, I was pretty much done with everything. I'm like, I can do, well, I could do PvP, but I don't really feel like doing PvP. You just play Bloodborne, then. I do, well, yeah, that's what I meant, Bloodborne, not Dark Souls. But I was like, I should just play Bloodborne. And I was like, eh, I'll turn it off and get ready to go out. Why don't you just go buy Mario Maker? I don't have that kind of, actually, I might have that kind of money right now. Well, there you go, do it. 
No, I'm pr- if I go out and buy anything, it's going to either be right. Splatoon or... You guys want to talk about your fucking TV shit now? Well, you want to like leave the room so we can spoil shit? Just don't spoil shit. Man, Man. But, but Coulson died. Oh, Coulson died. I'm, sure I'm sure Coulson died. Dude. Again. Dude, Coulson, how he uses his... He has a, a, a robot hand now. Thanks for spoiling it. Oh my god, shut up. You, you know. I don't know. You know. How do I know? Because you, you know he lost his hand, and yeah. you know he was talking to, he was gonna have a new one. I didn't know that. But Coulson, the way he uses his robot hand now, like when he's captured the one point. Oh yeah, yeah, that was really cool. <laughs> Is Coulson going to become Machine Man? I guess that's possible. I don't, I don't know what Machine. That'd be Man a little is. crazy to go that far. Why but not? wasn't it? Wasn't it thought that Fitz was going to be Machine Man or something? I don't know. Fitz was really cool in the episode too. Fitz was awesome in he, the episode. He, he is not like. He's not messed up on the head anymore. Fitz anymore. anymore. Yeah. That's good. Because that would get fucking annoying. I, I mean, he, that shit. He, he's definitely a little overly emotional, but you know how the last season ended, so yeah. that makes sense. But he, he he's actually, like, thinking yeah. Yeah. straight. He's not making great decisions, but he's thinking straight. Yeah. Sky yeah. was a lot better, too. Good. Well, she, And she's Daisy now. She, they're not yeah, calling her Sky. Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> Only Coulson, Coulson is calling her Sky. Coulson and he, said Sky, and then, uh, what's her name? Mockingbird or whatever. Uh, she was like, Daisy. He's like, oh, yeah, it's just, it's getting hard to remember that. Everyone else is like, no, no, just you. Um, May was not in the episode at all. What? They she, did, they, Lash, which was already revealed that he's in it, um, they showed him, he's weird looking. Who? He, Lash. I don't know he was introduced in the, in the new run of Inhumans after, like, the Terrigen shit went uh, on. I still, yeah. He, he's an Inhuman that. Oh, that guy, right. Um, he he looks kind of like the comic book though, and yeah. the comic book character is very not normal looking. Yeah. So it's kind of cool that they stuck with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's it was a great episode. It was really really cool. Yeah, I, I was pleasantly p- surprised. By a it. lot of I didn't cool know it stuff. aired. So had I known, I probably wouldn't have had a chance to watch it anyway. Maybe tonight we'll see. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's definitely worth yeah. seeing. And I mean, you like you like the I, show. Yeah. So. If if she wants to take a break. You might be. She's from already school? posting on Facebook, so she's done doing homework. <laughs> that or she just gave up, one or the other. But uh, yeah, um, Gotham was a lot better this week. I feel. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a good episode. It was a it was a good episode. Again, it still ran a little a little fast, but I guess it's just yeah, it, it, you're right. It's how the season's gonna be with like there's well they there, have a right lot now, going on so yeah right now there is no monster of the week set up. There is no figure out who done it stuff going on it's there's just, actually an overarching plot in these this is, is all he trying to figure out who done it though no because no, he knows who done it kind of they're just trying to figure out how done who it. done it for who done it how done it and how done it yes okay and to stop those who done it okay who who will who will doomed it he doomed it yes but yes it was um it was a lot better of an episode i didn't realize that something like that was going to happen that early in the season yeah it was insane it was good. Bullock's back, which is great. Yeah, that that was a nice little like scene at the end. Yeah, Bullock. Bullock. Oh, and how I, we didn't mention this last week. Did you recognize the um the guy at the end of the fir- or in the beginning of the first episode of the season? He had the donut. He was supposed to be the fat guy from the cartoon. That no, was Harvey. Was that was that Harvey in the cartoon? In the cartoon. Was, that I feel Bullock? like it was supposed to be like yeah, a, I, I believe so. I don't yeah. know what guy you're talking about. That's why. I feel like it was supposed to be an homage to the detective they from just, the cartoon. They swapped the roles where Gordon's young and Harvey's old in the show, whereas in the cartoon it was the opposite. Yeah. Harvey was Cause not young, but younger yeah. than Like, at the beginning of Gordon. the season, Gordon's a traffic cop. Yeah. And he's, like, directing traffic, and a guy comes out and he goes to, like, shoot people well, or don't, whatever. Don't tell him about that, because he will watch it eventually. Well, it's not really spoiled. It does he kind stop of. Everything's a spoiler. Well, no, you, you knew what was going to happen at the end of the last season, but he stops. This is just the beginning of the episode. I don't care. He stops the guy, and then out comes this guy, and he's got a donut. He's a big, fat, oafy dude. I feel like he's an homage to Maybe. what Bullock was in the cartoon. I, it was. It made me laugh. He's in a like, trench coat guy. and stuff? Huh? No, he's a beat cop. Like, oh. yeah. Well, no, he needs to be in a trench coat in order to be an homage to him. Well, I mean, it's just, I don't know. I thought it was. Wasn't um, in, in Batman Begins, the guy who went to get the falafel, wasn't that Harvey Bullock? Wait, say that again. I'm sorry. Remember in Batman Begins when uh, he goes to get the falafel and Batman grabs and he's the, the swear to me part? Yeah, that's that. I, that's, 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 I, don't, that Harvey? I don't know if that. 
Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think that was actually sure Bullock. Harvey Bullock. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's who that guy is. So which is kind of funny. I couldn't remember if that if they actually named him that. I'm or not sure if they did. If if they did, he is usually that Harvey cop Bullock. where like he's not he's not a bad cop, but he's, he's not. A he's great still cop, he yeah. still does some shady stuff. Yeah. He's, he he just wants to stay alive. Yeah. Yeah, it was a, it was a great episode. Me. Um, Heroes. Yeah, I did finally. I didn't watch this week's Heroes, but yeah, I I watched the premiere. I from forgot that last was one too. This week's Heroes it. was um, how many? It's only ten episodes, right? It's I think so. Like and it the, the, three of them have technically aired already. Yeah, yeah. the first one was a two hour. Wait. I might yeah. just wait till it's over and watch it, it. I wasn't super super impressed by the first episode. Yeah. But it, I mean, it seems like it. It, it's, it was it was heroes. Yeah, it's it following just, up on on the way this the series was originally better than any of the later seasons did. Yeah, like it, it's more mystery. They're kind of everyone's separate. You don't have all these people that are obviously tied together yet. Yeah, you've had a few cameos, like because like um, Bennett's a main yeah. character in it again. Yeah, um, there's a character that they show at the end of the the first two hour thing that you're like, oh. Didn't realize that's who that was. Christopher Eccleston? No. Oh. He's dead, remember? Oh, yeah, and I know. Zachary Levi's role is getting better. Okay, yeah, because I, I yeah. only seen him in the first one. Yeah. But, like, the, I, I don't like the Asian girl. Like, I don't like her thing that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird. Like, her powers and stuff, it's weird. And she got paper? No, no she, um, she, she gets sucked into a video game every time she pulls like, a sword She out. has Hero's sword. Okay. And when she opens it up, she gets brought into a video game. And if she goes to a certain spot in the video game and closes it, she's there. She teleports there in current day. Kind of weird. And like, and, her- and pe- I don't know whether she'd had it before or not, but she retains the fighting skills because when she she puts the sword away and she pops back up in like an office building, and all these office workers start pulling out their fucking riot batons to attack her. Yeah, because that's what you do to a teenage girl in the middle of your office building yeah, right. in the lobby, no less. It's not like she popped up in the middle of like a conference room. Yeah, but, yeah, but um. She ends up fighting them all just with the sword in the sheath still, so that she doesn't get transported again. Yeah, no, you you I haven't. It's just it was weird. You haven't met Harris yet. I'll have to watch no. it. Harris is he's got an awesome power. Yeah, it's. Intense. I think I think if we go to watch it, we'll have to watch all the other stuff because Aldrin never watched any of it. So. Uh, you could probably just get away with watching this because they I'm sure com- you could, but they, the first season was really good. The first season was really good, it's, and it's the last season was pretty good because the show picks up with, uh, where they they're talking about kind of what happened before. They, yeah. So it it you don't have to have seen it, but it does help to at, at one point, tie stuff together. At one point in the second episode or in the third episode, technically, um, somebody had mentioned that, like, and it might even been Bennett, like, I kind of wish when Claire jumped off that thing, she had just splattered to her death. Yeah. So, like, it referenced the last, the very last scene of the very last episode. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was it's great. It's, it's yeah. good. Uh, that was a cool way to end the show, though, with with her jumping off that, th- or, like, going to jump off a thing, because it's pretty, uh, is that how the show opened? She, uh, no, the show opens... I never saw the first episode. I never saw the first half of season one. Really? I jumped in at Save the Cheerleader, Save the World. That's when I started watching the show, and I never went back to watch it. I forget how it... I mean, it starts with the um, the eclipse and all. Yeah. But I remember seeing her doing that stuff pretty early on. Yeah, I mean, within the first... The first time you see her, yeah. it's her jumping off of the... the it was either a bridge yeah, or a something. crane or something at like a job site. Recording herself. And yeah, well, because yeah. she has the the kid that was in um, in the Terminator TV series. I don't know what his name is. Um, I don't know. Yeah, the, yeah, that kid was filming her. Yeah, I just thought that was a cool way to end it, despite the fact that I didn't know it was the end of the series. <laughs> Fucking no one knew it was the end fucking of the Olympics. Series. I was just mad the next week. I was like, "Oh, it's not on. The Olympics are on." <laughs> I just had no idea. <laughs> I was so mad. Yeah, that was a shitty way to end it. Yeah. At least, at least, are kind of getting to continue it. Yeah, and they have some characters that are planned for like little guest cameos and stuff. appearances. Yeah. Heroes supposed to be in it at some point. Yeah. What's her face in it? Allie Larder. Ah, uh, they haven't sh- said anything Who about that her. one. And she, she's filmed. She played three characters. Yeah, oh. she she was the 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 girl with the multiple personalities in the first season and then she was her twin later she, on like she had like super strength ice and something else yeah like well because she was ice and then when she got shattered she turned to water 
So then she had water powers, I believe, unless yeah. that was just the third person. I, I, that might have I, been. I know there were three different girls. Yeah. But yeah, she, she's her whole her thing was stupid. That's shit. that's where that show kind of went off the rails because things just got out of hand. It's like just kill her off already. God damn it! Because <laughs> like then you had like they made Peter too powerful, so every season they had to take away all of his powers some way. So like season two, they had him have amnesia, so he didn't know he had powers. Yeah, yeah. Season three, I think it was where he literally lost the yeah, power. Yeah, his dad yeah. took his powers, and then he got the ability to take one power at a time by touching people. And then yeah. every time he saw him in the future, he was fucking Neo. Mm-hmm. Every and time. Granted, that they did fix that at the end of the fourth season, where yeah. he just got Siler's power, so then he could have all the powers again. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because uh, him and him and Siler like rolled up at the end and just took everybody out. I just want to watch that again. I'm waiting for Parkman to show up if he does. Parkman He's supposed to be favorite. in it. He was my favorite. Him and the... <laughs> it's weird, but I liked the doll guy. <laughs> the doll guy. Oh, the bad guy? Yeah, he was fun. I don't, I don't think I remember him. He was goofy. He, um... I think the first time you see him, he kidnaps Claire. Yeah. Claire's real mom and her, like, adopted mom. Yep. Okay. Um... Because it was when Claire decided that she's invincible and she can go be a superhero and track these people down, too, so her dad doesn't have to. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, that goes great for her. Mm-hmm. And the guy basically has a tea party with them and, like, controls <laughs> I them. I remember that. So creepy. Yeah, yeah. And then awesome. he's in that last bit, too. Um, I think he has them again or mm-hmm. has Claire again, at least. He was part of the web series, too. Like, they had a web series dedicated to him just doing stuff, which was funny. Um, that guy was neat. The, um... The memory guy, you've you've seen him in the new season. He he has something to do with pennies. He has a briefcase full of pennies. And oh yeah, 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 yeah. And like he kind of like wipes people's memories. It's weird. He's pretty cool though. <laughs> oh, sorry, Pisco just made fun of me, and it's fine. Oh God. <laughs> How so? Uh, There's a picture of my daughter on Facebook, and we fed her avocado yesterday, um, and she didn't eat any of it, but it it got into her mouth just fine. She didn't spit it out. She didn't hate it. She just doesn't know how to swallow food yet. Mm -hmm. So there's a picture of her, and she's just sitting there looking adorable with some avocado coming out of her mouth. (laughs) Pisco said, this looks just like Eric in that whole, you know, eating food kind of way. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, well, I can't can't deny that. (laughs) Oh, Pisco. It was good. All right, um, you got more TV. I think that's, TV's stupid. Come on. I mean, there, there's Fear of the Walking Dead's almost over. Yeah, whatever. The last episode is this week. Yeah, I was the, the new tonight. episode. I'll yeah, watch, tonight. I'll watch all that. New episode. The new, new is Walking Dead start next week. Next week. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll um, watch that. Oh, Last Man on Earth. Yeah. Awesome show. I, I liked the first couple episodes of season one, but Audrey wasn't into it, so we never watched it. It's so funny. I'll probably just watch it on my own at some point. It looks funny. And then uh, mm-hmm. Flash and Arrow start this week. Yep. Um, I haven't had the time to watch Minority Report yet, so I can't even comment on that. It's it's all right. I don't hate it, but it's not. I don't expect it to last because it's on Fox. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at with Fox and sci-fi shows. Minority that Report. Yeah. yeah no, there's no way that's going to stick. I yeah. I mean, it's it's cool, but Fox will probably end up doing the same thing they always do and airing it out of order because they want to keep the action up mm-hmm. and. Then the show won't make any fucking sense. And they do that with Two Human or whatever it was. Not Two Human. Yeah, they did, the well, they did it with one. Firefly. They did it with Almost Human. That's and it, I think yeah. they did it with something else, too. Yeah. It's like. Because that. And I actually read an article where that's exactly why they did it with Almost Human. They wanted to make sure that ever that the action was paced out throughout the series correctly. Yeah, but the motherfucker. Rather than having the story and continuity make any sense. So, so you everything had. Everything was so fucking out of order in that yeah, show. Yeah, so, so you had episodes where the two main characters were just super cold to each other and they, like, they weren't friends. And then the episode before and after, they were like all buddy buddy. It's yeah. like, this doesn't work at no. all. <laughs> Fox, man. Yeah, I don't see my Minority Report. It sounds like a cool idea. It's a TV show that I would have liked to have seen like 15 years ago. You know what? It works now. I think a little bit better than it would have then because it's, it's technology. It's suppo- shit, well, yeah. there's that because it's technology that TV can now do yeah. that movies would have yeah. only been able to do that long ago. Yeah, for a reasonable budget. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah. But the story that they have going, it takes. It's like 10 plus years after the movie. Okay. Oh, is it? I, thought I, thought I thought it was before. I thought it was before. No, it's after. It's 10 years after the movie, or huh. ish. Yeah. Um, pre-crime is shut down. Oh. Because um, I, actually, I think last week when I mentioned it, that before I had watched it, I thought it was pre- Yeah. I just that. I just assumed it was pre- um, because I know it was about the, the kids, like the twins. Yeah, shit. so it was about it's, one, yeah, two it's kids. after the, it's after pre-crime is shut down. Mm-hmm. Um, and so the movie ends where the three... They live in that house. Yeah, they live in the house in the woods. Um, 
they're all grown up now. Yeah. Because, you know, they were young-ish in the movie. Yeah, were, the girl is the oldest of them, and then there's the two twins. Yeah. And they were picked up as children, and so they were probably, like, early teens or whatever yeah, like, yeah. in the movie. The girl a little bit older. But uh, this is later on, so you're you're following um, the, the one girl that they show in all the previews, and then she actually meets one of the twins. Mm-hmm. He kind of... He, he is in Washington, D.C., and... The way it works is he sees, like, places and faces and stuff like that, and his twin brother gets names and stuff. So that's why they worked so well together, because they got both pieces of the puzzle. Right. Apparently, the, the girl just got everything because she was more powerful than them both. Mm-hmm. But so he, he's in, every time he has a flash, he draws their faces, and he's been, he, like, turns them in. It's almost like psych. He basically, he basically does a Sean Spencer and, right. like, calls in, like, anonymous tips. <laughs> <laughs> but now he... He's not. The cops don't know about him because if they got a hold of him again, there's a good chance they'd try to use him. And right. so she kind of like works with him on the side. Mm-hmm. But it it's interesting. Yeah. Like it. Uh, like I think it could be really cool, but it's Fox, so it's probably going to get canceled. Yeah. I That's kind of where I'm at with it. Yeah. And the Muppets. I was dying in the Muppets. The Mu- Yeah. See, I think I the Muppets was... is funny, especially this week with Lawrence Fishburne. I liked the first <laughs> episode. I, I, I watched great. the first episode last week. Lawrence Fishburne it, so. driving around in a little golf cart, yelling at Kermit. Your show sucks. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I liked it. I liked the first episode. I thought it was good, so I'm definitely going to stick with that one. Yeah. It, people, Fucking dro- Josh Groban was. <laughs> Josh Groban was hilarious. Mm. People, people are just mad about it because. The Muppets are supposed to be childish, and there's a but lot of like, then, more it's, it's sexual not even references. That. It's, and... it's not even that. It's just because it was. It's episode one of a TV show. It's a pilot. It's not going to be as good as people want it to be. That's just really. Well, it's, that's like, the main I, issue there. I watched yeah. episode two, and I didn't get any of those. Like, there was one reference that was at the very end of the episode. They're not going to tone it down. They're going to. It's you know. Well, no. I mean, it's just it's just how the episode was. I I, I just uh, it's it's. People bitch because they bitch. It's just how yeah. people are. But the main issue was like, like having watched that first episode, like coming out of it, I was like, to me, it seemed like an episode one of like Parks and Rec or The Office. Like it was on par with that stuff. Yeah, pretty funny, but I not really, like the first season of Parks and Rec is pretty bad. Yeah, <laughs> same same with The Office. It's six episodes of you should probably skip this, but go ahead and watch it anyway, kind of thing. You know, it's not great, but. You know, I enjoyed it, and and I understand why it's not great because it's the first season. It's it's lower budget. They don't know what they can they're actually capable of. Season two, and they're like they get picked up. It's gonna fucking rock. But I have no, you know, I I thought the Muppets was really good. Yeah, I'm hoping that it doesn't episode. get canceled be- at at least before like mid season the way they like to do with a lot of shows. Yeah, I think it'll make like it. Give, give the show a chance to like find an audience. Yeah, it's, it's ABC though Muppets, so they it it'll. They'll get the chance. I mean, it's because that's also a straight up Disney show. So Disney will make sure it gets its chance. It's it's like Avengers. I could see them just keeping it because. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, like Muppets has been a household name. So people are going to watch it no matter what. Um, and unlike where NBC will drop a show after six episodes because they just don't like it. And it's not the voice. All right. And Aero TV. I think that's it. Yeah, um, that's we're all gamed out too. I mean, that's all I played was Destiny. Yeah, so I almost too. played Bloodborne and Final Fantasy, but that doesn't count for anything. Yeah, and he talked about his Metal Gears, Metal that Gears. awful experience, and Mario Makers, Mario Maker. So I just, I really just want to go home and play more Mario Maker. I would, I want to play Destiny, but I'm probably not going to be able to. It's, I kind of, I, I wish it was easier to stream stuff from the Wii. Yeah. I've always been saying that. You need a whole thing to set up and it's, Yeah, like yeah. you actually you actually need like video production yeah, gear to do sucks. that. Cuz you can't it, they don't just have Twitch where you can just stream it to Twitch or YouTube. No. Which honestly, I mean, I mean the Wii U came out before it, those no, announcements I mean, were made, so No, that doesn't But even matter. then that they can do system firmware updates, they could they could update the system. But is it powerful that. enough to handle doing? That's the thing. Yeah. And that's you know, And their their whatever. internet capabilities are wacky on it to begin with, so Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, as cool as Twitch and everything is on the on the new machines, uh, part of me, you know, is just like whatever. They're not it's not necessary. No. You know, it's it's a neat little feature that I used a couple times and probably will use more in the future. But you know, it, nothing's broken if it doesn't have it for me. You know, like if we doesn't have it, whatever. I don't. You know, nobody wants to yeah. watch my shit anyway. I mean, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I would like to stream like playing Smash Bros or yeah. Mario. Kart. Hey, Smash Brothers, just get in the Mario Maker level, huh? 
Oh, uh, Mario Maker level coming to Smash Brothers? Yeah, for I don't know if it's paid DLC or if everyone's just getting it. That's pretty cool. Hopefully, it's. I think it'll be free. It's but I, I, free. I, I, I think I read that the level is just going to randomly change like as you're playing. Yeah, because it's not like, like most things. Then. Yeah, it's not like somebody can like actually edit the level. But so like when you're touching the screen on your gamepad in Mario Maker, a hand is on your TV like with a stylus like moving stuff around Mm -hmm. so i believe that's what's going to happen like they'll drop stuff and they'll delete ground and everything yeah it's that sounds about right so is there news there is some there's some news do do the news music news all right i got one google announced the nexus 6p and 5x my fucking news my news now bitch (laughs) my news now bitch Two new Nexus devices. The five X a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I mean, on top of you know yeah, a bunch X of other big shit. And six P small. No, five X is five point two inches. Six P is five point seven inches. Um, so it's, it's like they're not. Yeah, it's the five. Uh, it's a, basically, it's a five inch phone and a six inch phone. Yeah, which yeah. is pretty cool. Uh, the That's downside what, is everyone's kind of doing that now because yeah. Apple has their two versions of the iPhone. Well, Samsung has the the S series and then the Note series. Yeah. It's after last year's Nexus, the the six being a six point two inch screen and too big and too expensive for a lot of people. Google realized that that wasn't the route to go. Yeah. So now they have the options, and it's like the the five X is just straight up um, for their. It's a sixteen thirty two and sixty four gig versions. The sixteen is three hundred and eighty bucks, which is phenomenal. Just That's outright not bad at all. If you and and you buy it, and then it can attach to any carrier you want. So you don't have to pay for a phone with anybody, just your data, yeah. uh, which is awesome. And the 6P starts at uh, 499 or, yeah, no, 399 uh, No, I'm lying. I think it's it might be 499 something like that. It's cheap is yeah. all it is. It's at, at its most expensive for the 128 gig version because it's 3264 128 for the 6P. The high end is 600 bucks, And the low end is, I think... I think it's four ninety nine is where it's three ninety nine is where it starts at. I, it's it's really fucking cheap for these phones. Nice. So um, I want I want the six P. Plus, so I want the five X. The five X is two gigs of RAM and it's a, a Snapdragon eight hundred eight, which is an eight hundred eight's not a bad processor. But I've had two gigs of RAM in my four year old phone, so that kind of bothers me. Um, I just I don't I don't want a bigger phone. It's I mean I have a four seven. I think w- what's yours. Um, I don't know what this what S5 Galaxy is. are you? S5? I think that's a 5.2. That's so, what I thought. You know, it's, it's, you're going up half an inch to yeah, a I 6P. Just, it's barely a difference. It's in enough size. of one problem. Like, hopefully, like, yeah. T-Mobile has, gets them in stock where I can go look at them side by side. That's what I want to do. Um, but odds are I'd, I'd rather go for the smaller one just because I don't like that's big phones. I'm not, right there with you. I don't like the huge phones, but the, the power difference... Being, you know, a, a, an entire gig of RAM difference is... You know, especially so, considering my phone is four years old. You also... You're going to play games and stuff on yours? Regard- I'm not. <laughs> that, that, sure, maybe makes a difference. I don't need the extra memory, really. Like, I'm not going to... I'm not doing anything on my phone that would require it. You do, though. You use your phone, and that requires it, you know? No, no, I'm, but, I, but I'm, I'm also one of the people that, I, you know, kill things as soon as I'm done with them. That's... And, unnecessary and it's been unnecessary for two years now. i know i don't it's but, not like I, I don't have like a separate application but, for it i don't either but i'm just saying but, like i just i don't have any necess- i don't have any need for it to run so i just have a tendency to right but kill it's, tasks it's just kind of like i don't know i just feel like it, it's i'm sure it runs fine and from what i'm reading it runs fine it's just to me it's just it's underwhelming the only th- in terms of and it's not an upgrade to me it's a side the, grade the only thing that would worry me slightly about it is it does have the it'll have the newest version of android marshmallow yeah so but it has the, it's built with the newest version no no i don't mean yeah. i don't mean that like it's like i don't mean that the phone will be buggy because it has a newest version yeah. i mean because it has the newest version will the slightly outdated hardware right that's that's Run my concern. Well. Like I, I've heard, like the people who use the test models, they said it, it runs well. But how's it going to be in like six months? You know, um, that's my concern. Whereas I'd rather pay the extra hundred dollars for a phone that's got better, you know, insides, hardware specs to to run the shit longer. So if, if I didn't just get this, I'd definitely be getting. The- it's your own fault for getting that. Look, if my Nexus Four battery station charged port wasn't dying uh you could have just got the uh 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 charging pad for it and charged it wirelessly 
Wouldn't I needed to have plugged something into it to be able to get it to charge no. wirelessly? No. Like, well, no. Like, don't you have to like plug in something so then no. when you put it on top, it charges it wirelessly? Mm. It has NFC capabilities built in. You just drop it on the pad and it charges. Yeah, there's no like well, dongle or anything that gets plugged into them. Well, that's dumb. Shows how much you know. It does. I don't. I don't research this shit. The camera on the new Nexus phones can record it up to 208 frames a second. Nice. You can watch. The the wings of a hummingbird flap slowly in perfect clarity with these fucking cameras. It's ridiculous. I can go in slow mo on my Galaxy S six. Can it record in two hundred and eight frames a second? I don't know. See, he doesn't. He just told us he has to do research on the phones. The thing. That's look. I I know look, this for I, a fact. I didn't know it had slow mo until I bought it, and I was so excited when I found that out. But yeah, so I, I think I, I think the Nexus phones look really cool. Um, Aldra will probably end up getting the five X. Um, I'm just. I'm not thrilled with the the side grade feeling in the hardware, so I'll probably get the 6P. 6P is all aluminum. The 5X isn't. Uh, The 6P has this really weird looking bar that runs along the top, um, and it's like you know, like kind of like the back of your phone might look as well. Then the rest of it's silver. Don't the back aren't the back supposed to have fingerprint scanners on them? There's a fingerprint scanner on each of them right in the middle, which is neat. Um, and it's built into like the aluminum case of yeah. the 6P. But then there's this weird like bar at the top, and, and Google announced the reason that's there is because the case is aluminum, so nothing gets through it, like no data gets through it. So they built this bar into the back that houses um, <laughs> like an infrared scanner and and the the antenna and all that shit right up here in this little thing up top. <laughs> and I'm like, well, that's really fucking cool. Then you know, ex- thank you for explaining to me why that's there, because otherwise I was like, it looks fucking weird. So I thought that was yeah. kind of neat. Well, I mean, most people are going to get cases for their phones anyway, so... Yeah, and the cases most- all account for it because it's got a slight bump, a slight bump. It was a lot larger in the early renders, but they, they managed to get it down to where it's yeah. almost flush, which is really cool. Well, um, I'm, I'm just saying, like, the looks don't... Like, when they asked me what color phone I wanted, I said black because I'm going to have a case for it anyway. Yeah. I'm going to get silver, and if I get a case, oh, I mean, I will, but, I mean, you might not have to, because it's got Gorilla Glass 4 built in, uh, you know, like, on it and everything, and it's an aluminum It's still case, nice so. to just get the cases, yeah, it's, just so your it's, phone doesn't get all that, dinged like, up and yeah. crappy looking. It's um, that security blanket. Yeah, I know what you mean. Pretty much. Um, they have some like, pretty cool looking cases on the website, but yeah, so then they also announced an upgrade to the Chromecast, same amount of money, $35 still. It's, uh, a, weird, it's a little weird looking now, but Yeah, it's neat. now just a circle disc with, with a little... With an actual cord. But it's magnetic? Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Or at least, yeah, apparently it's it's magnetized so you can actually connect it to your devices. Yeah, you can, like, smack it to your TV instead of having it stick out. It's not a were, stick anymore. People had problems because they don't have side things on their TVs like, like some of they us do. Like under they have, well, or... they have the back ones so they can't mount their TV flush to the wall and have this thing in it. Yeah. So now instead it just, like, slaps onto your TV and the thing comes out and plugs in. And it's, not a, it's not a long cable, okay. but it's long enough. Just enough to get it in and slap it to That's your TV. And then you have... Um, uh, then there's the the radio cast. I don't know what they're calling that. Chromecast audio. Yeah, that thing's pretty neat. It's just, that? it's just it's it's a it's Chromecast, Chromecast with a with a headphone jack on it that yeah. you can plug into speakers. Okay. So as long as you as long as you have a speaker with a um a one eighth millimeter jack, like a headphone jack, yep. mm-hmm. you can turn that speaker into a, like a wireless radio. Yep. Okay. Um, so- the only downside is as of right now, there's no like native way to have more than one speaker mm-hmm. you'd have to get like splitters and off for the cables yeah so yeah so, like, like, if, I, if you have a big stereo system uh, it, that doesn't ha- hook up to your wi-fi or anything you can just plug this into it's all like as long as you have like a line in on your stereo you can plug that into it and it'll turn it into wireless right uh, but it still needs to use like the tv no 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 it's it's its own little device oh, with a, okay. with a, so a headphone like, jack you, on you would it. open pandora hit cast and shoot it to that device okay. and then that device would just start playing Pandora. i have i have the sound bar and yeah. so when i don't want to turn the tv on i have to set the sound bar to bluetooth and play it as long as there's an audio in jack on that, you could just plug it in. Yeah, and I mean, like, okay. a, and if you happen to have like a, like a nice stereo that had like a line in feature, yeah, yeah, um, you could do that. My um, my Logitech shit does so. Like when that's set up surround sound, I could just plug this thing into it. And okay, Pandora right to it or whatever. It's pretty cool. Yeah, but like it plugs into the TV as well, or is it just no. a headphone? Okay, it's, it's an audio yeah, it has jack. Nothing only to do with thing. the TV. Yeah. It's a t- okay. completely separate device. Yeah. So like, if you had a stereo in the corner of the other side of the room, you could plug it into that and play music 
without ever getting up yeah. from like Pandora. I'm sure okay. Google Music will yeah. work with it, so you can stream your own shit. To I don't it. know if you like if you go into like Target or whatever and go to like the the stereo section. All the stereos now are are Wi-Fi enabled, so that way you can you know download an app and click play and plays to that instead yeah. through your phone instead of going up and hitting like because everybody's lazy now so yeah they have like these the the sono speakers we had at one of our old jobs where it was just lined up yeah, those the office. Are really cool. they're really neat they're a little expensive but they're really cool you just set them up throughout your house and you set to like you could set each room to a different station of pandora yeah. or you, all of them to one and like there's apps for the phones and computer where you could like adjust the volume and yeah. the channel and everything you they really set cool. your fucking eagles game to it so you can go poop and still listen to eagles yes. upstairs you know whatever you want to do that'd be nice it's kind of neat i thought i thought it was neat so then this little jack is a, a 35 dollar way of doing the same thing without going you know without going out and spending 200 dollars on a speaker system yeah that ends up getting you one speaker that you can control with your phone now you have any one of your radios in your house yeah. you can do which is cool um, so yeah, that Google event was pretty sweet. They also showed off some more uh, mar- marshmallow stuff, yeah, uh, which looked fun. And the, there's some updates coming to uh, the the uh, well, Google the Wear stuff. Yeah. But I, I wish Google would make a Nexus watch because I don't know what watch to get. There's so <laughs> many of them, and the one that I was really interested in getting turns out doesn't use Google. Like the Google application, it uses like a different. It uses Tizen, not Google Wear. So I don't or Android Wear. So I don't want that phone because while it can use the Android shit, it's not an Android watch. Yeah. So like I don't know, it's annoying. I hate trying to figure out which one I want. So I wish they would just do a Nexus watch, just to show me like, hey, this is what the watches should be like. Yeah. That would make me happy. But whatever. That was the big news. Um, NASA found signs of water on Mars. <sighs> Don't drink it. Don't don't yeah, drink no. the water. Don't on eat Mars. vegetables that are made by it. <laughs> don't do anything. But, but Matt Damon. Look, Matt, look Damon. Matt Damon can do what he wants. I apparently he's yet. on he apparently he's on a different Mars than than the one Doctor Who went to. You know, <laughs> I was really hoping when when all that stuff came out about NASA finding the water that it was just like a huge like ARG thing for for the Martian. That'd be amazing. <laughs> that would be like amazing. A huge publicity stunt yeah. thing. Yeah. I, I read somewhere that uh NASA told Ridley Scott about the waters on Mars, the water on Mars before anybody else, just because he was making the movie. Like they had not confirmation, but they had made the discovery, you know, a little while ago and they were like, yeah. okay, we need confirmations to make sure, but let's let him know just in case he wants to utilize that in his movie. And, uh, he didn't end up using it. I don't think, but <laughs> it, it was just kind of neat that like they told him ahead of time cause he's working on it. And, and the, the, the way the press conference was, I mean, the way they sounded, he wouldn't have been able to use it, I guess. Yeah. Maybe so, not. Yeah. I, I haven't seen the movie. I want to see it. It looks really I, cool. I want to see it. I'm trying to see it on Wednesday. So, yeah. yeah, maybe I'll take my wife to a movie next Saturday. <laughs> it's our anniversary. We don't know what to do. Anybody have any ideas? Um, take her to a movie. Yeah, go, yeah. Go to the movie. Go mm. to the um, go to Fogo de Chao. Mm, she can't eat that. She can she can eat the the vegetable portions. It's not the same. Look, it's both of your anniversary. It's not the same. No, I know. You go to Fogo. <laughs> she goes which, to like it's a both of our anniversary, place. which means I have to take her somewhere that's nice that she can enjoy, oh. and then I just have to deal with it. Go to like a vegetarian. <laughs> restaurant? Go to McDonald's the next morning on the way to podcast. <laughs> um, what? Yeah. Go to a vegetarian restaurant. I don't like maybe. I just don't know where to go or what to do. So I have an idea. I'm Did you guys ever it. actually get to go to? Um, Oh, what's that place? The, the beer place. There's one in Voorhees, one in Marlton. Uh, Iron Hill? Yeah, did you guys ever end up getting to go there? Because yeah. I know she had wanted to, like, for her birthday, and we couldn't, like, yeah, three we years went, ago. Yeah, we went, what day was it? I think when we were leaving for Boston. I don't even remember that one time. Boston. Yeah, I think we both left work, and we, we were already packed. The car was packed, so we could just head straight to Boston. And I think we stopped and ate at Iron Hill and then drove to Boston. And nice. then, yeah, it was a fun trip. I, I, I was just going to throw that out there because yeah. I didn't know if I know. I think she had wanted to go there and we how couldn't. Did dog you like that place, that. Veg? She'll like it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. I can eat somewhere else later on if that, it's that, gross. So but. it's a little. It's a. I mean, it's one of those nicer Philly restaurants. Yeah. So it's a little pricey for the amount of food you get. Yeah, that's fine. The food was good though. Yeah. Like surprisingly, like th- I didn't have anything that I tried that I was just like, "Ew, this is disgusting." Yeah. It was all good. It was just. Yeah. Where in Philly was it? Right near, uh, it's like a block away from the speed line. Okay. Cause I, I, I want to say it was between like 12th and 13th, yeah. um, maybe like a block off. It might have actually been on Locust. Huh. 
I'll think about that because I might do that and see if we can do like a ghost tour in Philly. She wouldn't. Oh yeah, that, that would actually be cool. That would um, be a fun night. Yeah, the, the re- it's it's small, so since it's Saturday, make reservations. Yeah, it's, um, I might call them up today or tomorrow. See what I can do. Oh yeah, it, it is on Locust, and it's between twelfth and thirteenth. Nice. So you literally can get off at that subway stop and cool. be there. <laughs> Um, and, yeah, it's not it took me a minute to find it because the sign is a little. I thought it was a little hard to notice, yeah. but and it's that's that stretch where everything just looks like a house because they all used to be houses. That's true. Um, but yeah, I mean, just figure when you leave there. Yeah. Try and find out where you're going to go to get to a ghost tour. Yeah. And just kind of check like Google and see if there's like a pizza place along the way. <laughs> I'm sure there will be. <laughs> I mean, it's it's there, look. There's always that, and then worse comes not worse comes to worse. But I can guarantee you, we'll stop at Insomnia Cookie on the way home. So yeah, there you go. Cause, <laughs> look, cause we went, we went. It was it was whatever day Dave and Erica were doing their St. Patrick's Day party. Yeah, I remember that, that few one. years ago. Yeah. So we went there. It was and the ate. day before we met Psych. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so we ate there. And then we went to the party, and I proceeded to eat all of the food at the party because yeah. I was so hungry still. Well, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Erica wasn't. like it, So Audra probably wouldn't either because yeah. I think they both don't eat a whole lot at yeah. a meal. So, I, yeah. But I, they do that like – if it's anything – if the, if, if, you, if the waiters are just all like this, right. they'll tell you, well, we, re- we, we recommend that you do like one of these, and then you each get one of these, and then you also get one of these, and you just kind of share. Yeah. So it's like it's basically because they don't have like appetizers and entrees. It's like it's food. Here's like dirt, and here's yeah. other dirt. Yeah, and I think one of their items is literally called dirt. It's fine. And here's stuff that grows out of dirt. Yeah, yeah right? like <laughs> so. But it was yeah. it, the food was good and well prepared. It was yeah. just small portions. Yeah, I ate at a when when I proposed to her in New York. I found this really nice vegetarian only like fancy restaurant that we ate at and it was the same kind of deal like afterwards i was still really friggin' hungry and she was like super satisfied and i was like we need to find a pizza place as soon as we can <laughs> just so i can eat something and so we ended up i don't think we ended up stopping i think i just ended up dealing with it being hungry the rest of the night but we i would, got, I would we highly recommend finding because that area there should be at least like a pizza place or something you can run into real quick yeah. just stop at lorenzo's on the way to the tour that's that's not <laughs> that's, a Fun kind of out time. of the way because odds are the tour is going to be going towards like Old City and Lorenzo's yeah, yeah. is on South Street. Yeah, yeah, I know. So yeah, we'll probably I'll, I'll look into that. See, that's probably a good idea because I thought about that the other day and I was like, eh, let's just talk to Cobb. Um, news? Anybody else? Ah, uh, so kind of go along with the the Google stuff. Yeah, Amazon. Yeah, I is, like this. I, I, I guess you know. Yeah, they are no longer going to carry Chromecast or Apple TV. Oh, it is being they have banned their, from Amazon. Yep. They have Amy or whatever. No, no, no it's Fire TV. So they have Fire, fire t- TV. They, they have the Fire Stick and the Fire TV, which the Fire Stick is Chromecast. The Fire TV is Apple Roku. TV. Yeah. Um, but it's not just that. Apple TV and Chromecast apparently both do not support Amazon Prime streaming. Hmm. So like, if you have Amazon Prime, you can't stream it to your Chromecast. That is interesting. I don't know if that's 100% or I'll if it was to- just Apple. I've never had Amazon Prime to do that. I do. I'll tr- I'll test it. Um, but I'm pretty sure at least Apple doesn't offer it. Yeah. So they're like, well, if you guys aren't going to support our streaming service, okay. yeah. fuck you all. That makes a lot more sense plus, then. Plus, it's direct competition to what they're trying to do now because Amazon is expanding past that whole stuff. Yeah. And it's not completely out of like the blue for them to not carry certain products. Like I, I think it's... They don't really carry a Nintendo product directly from Nintendo. Or um, Amazon does not sell Nintendo products, I believe. Really? Third party retailers yeah. sell Nintendo product it's been, it's on while Amazon. That they haven't been doing that. Why? It's, I don't know. But yeah, it, you'll you'll always if you look up Nintendo stuff other than like I think some handheld stuff is excluded, but like if you look up like a Wii U. You can get games, just no hardware. Yeah, like you're not gonna oh. find like the Wii U sold by Amazon. It'll be sold by such and such fulfilled by Amazon. Yeah, that's dumb. There's no Amazon Prime app. Are you sure? I mean, there's Amazon Fire TV remote app, so that's not going to work with Chromecast. And there's Amazon Prime Now, and there's Amazon Music with Prime Music. Hmm. Well, it might be Amazon Prime Now. Let's see, Amazon Prime Now... Like I, I didn't, I didn't really look. One super hour into delivery this. with Amazon Prime now. So no, that's not that. So that's the thing. So I mean, and that it, makes sense for Chromecast, Apple TV, because because my my PS4 has a Amazon Prime app on it. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, so Chromecast makes sense then because Chromecast yeah. relies on you to have an app that you can stream to it. Apple Probably. TV, on the other hand, if they don't have an app, that's just because they don't have an app. Well, I mean, you could go to the Amazon Prime website and there should be a Chromecast button. Uh, yeah, I could try it on Chrome at home and see how it works. But, yeah, but I mean, even then... But that would be different. The, the thing is... You can, you can certainly... <laughs> like, I can cast my browser window right now if I wanted to. Yeah. Like, that doesn't really help their like what they're talking about if that but, really was one of the reasons so then there's there's i don't have the amazon store on my phone i got rid of that years ago um but maybe there's a prime thing in there perhaps so maybe i'll test that out later um, um but that's because i know amazon's picky like even you can't get the amazon prime store through google play you have to get it through amazon's website have yeah. a link sent to you then download it and install it well, yeah it's like you can get the amazon so store and then you, the amazon app store you have to go through a secondary website that's what i mean like the amazon app store i have to go through all that so like i'm sure that maybe it's it's just amazon i think honestly it's just amazon being difficult like why not just put the Amazon Prime streaming app on Google Play so that way I can download it and Chromecast it, and then you don't have to have like this f- mid- this little fight with the two of them because I'm sure Google would just say fine if it's available on our store, then okay. But yeah, since like, it's not, I could see them saying no, you yeah, can't it's, Chromecast it's, something. It's not on our store. It's a third party app. They're not really every phone that you get that's Google is like, look, this is a third party app. Just warning you. Yeah. It, we don't condone you downloading this because we don't know what it's going to do to your phone. Yeah. Because we've never seen it before, All technically. Right. Any other news? Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. All right, hurry up. Um, did you guys hear Arkham Knight finally coming back to PC in October? I don't care. <laughs> I, just, I just don't care. No, I just think it's funny. It They, they were supposed it's to have almost... a patch, I think, in August? No. Absolutely or did not. They, or no, they released a patch in August. They the, released a the preliminary game patch. Out. Yeah, the game came out. They did a, like a brief patch that didn't do anything, and they said, they "Yeah, we won't have this ready sales. for a long time." So, yeah, it's that's. But yeah, yeah. I just thought that was funny. Uh, but, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Five is just I've terrible. Heard I've heard it's garbage. Yeah, so. it, the... it's, it's completely broken. Yeah, and all the I, I watched some videos of it. Yeah, um, I expected no. Less. It loads. Every time you do something. So you have like a, a, a lobby skate yeah. in the level you're in where with other people. When you want to do a, a mission, though, you have to load into the mission. Mm-hmm. If you fail that mission, in order to retry, it has to reload rather than just jumping. Your, yeah. nope. Nope. And like just physics are bad. You fall through the levels a lot. Mm-hmm. like and, and not just get stuck in like a wall. Like people who, have who made this? fallen through. The, the same people that made... Um, that made the the anniversary edition a couple years ago that no one really liked. Uh-huh. Um, something Robo, not Neversoft, and not yeah, not Activision. The, it's it's Activision still because oh. it's an Activision property, but it's Fucking. like Robo something. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's yeah, Neversoft doesn't matter. I saw the. I don't video. think Neversoft exists anymore. Like, but. No, no, because they were with THQ. Yeah, like they were saying that there's a button, the button to do the grind, the triangle. Yeah. Not only does it grind now. Yeah. But it also like. You could jump and you hit triangle and it slams no, down. That that's how you grind. You have to slam things in order to grind on them. It's not just land on something and do that. Like it, even if you're on a bar, you slam onto the bar. Well, yeah, but like they're saying, like it has two features where you could have just made it to where you jump and grind. Or like the, like you, the or slam like, feature does nothing. Yeah, like before it was just jump and press triangle to grind. Now it's jump, press triangle, and he slams down and grinds. But if you're not going to grind and you slam down, he just slams down onto the ground. And it's like, why, what is this slam feature for? Yeah. Well, you like do it when you're coming out of a jump to like get better speed off the ramp. But when you go to do that, you tend to go through the level. So it, it was Robomoto who developed it. Yeah. They're also the guys who made Ride and Shred. I don't know either of those. Tony Hawk Ride was the one that came with the, the motion skateboard. skateboard. Oh, man. Okay. And I think Shred was the DS version okay. that also so nobody liked. I didn't realize those were Tony Hawk, then Ride, then Tony Hawk Slit. Uh, okay. That sucks. <laughs> Tony Hawk Ride. Yeah. I didn't know Tony Hawk Shred. I knew Tony Hawk Ride. I, I just thought that Ride was a game and Shred was a game. Not that they yeah. were prefaced by Tony Hawk. Either way, that sucks. They should... Because I, I, I was... Not, I, not to say I was looking forward to it, but... I was I was interested to see what would happen. And oh shit! I, Shred I, was actually another um, motion controlled skateboarding game. Nice. That's horrible. Yeah. yeah but I, I was I was interested to see what would happen, and this is this is sad. So sorry, everybody. Yeah, I mean it's because those games were fun and like yeah. the first for the first couple. So did Rock Band come out? It comes um, out this week. He Just got go he it. got the Road Crew 
edition. If you, oh. I didn't really understand this because I was it was explained to me fourteen times, fourteen different ways right. in the same night. Okay, if you took a video of you playing rock band, yes. and sent it to them, yes, and you won, yes, they sent you the band in the box okay. and the guitar and the game. So all the stuff. Okay, yeah, but I didn't know yeah. because. When Anthony and Jordan were explaining it to me, every time we're like, oh, yeah, you just take a video. And what? Yeah, just take a video of yourself playing and we can get the band in the box. So this is all I do is take a video. Well, I mean, I'm like, can we take a video of the band? And well, if we do, it's, we're just going to win one. I'm like, okay, I need to know. And they're like, but yeah, just take a video. I'm like, what do I do with this video? Where do I send it? It's like, no, just take a video. Post okay. it. So that's why he had Rock Band Night, was to take videos? No, he had Rock Band Night to have Rock Band Night to get ready for Rock Band 4. But we didn't take a single video the whole time we were no, there. That's dumb. Okay. Like, well, they kept pushing me to get it. Yeah. But I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Like, well, come on. A simple Google probably would figure that out. But so, so does I, he have the actual game then? He has just, the actual game. He has the entire. He has every instrument. So is it like a week early? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Why didn't he invite us over to play rock band? I, oh. I asked him if I could be his lead singer. Thanks he has for a, being an asshole, he Pisco. A, he has a primary lead singer sitting there, right. too busy playing rock band to join us for Destiny like an a hole. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Fuck um, that guy. But I might go yeah. get rock band next week if I have the money and Don't get do the that. band in the box. Don't do that. Why? Because I want it. Don't. Well, just wait. Our, wait for Christmas for it to be half off. Is is the old school? All the old shit works still. So you can go to your parents' okay. house and get all your shit. And a, your dad will stop bothering me to get it because it's not mine. And 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 I, I two said, and yeah and two. <laughs> <laughs> you said yeah, a i know and, and two uh you'll have the shit and it'll work i know supposedly um i want to anyway. get it star wars battlefront beta starts on thursday four yeah. days four days everyone I'm trying to think what else happened what else happened uh, nothing happened um there's there's they're doing stupid stuff on television like they okay. might be making a lethal weapon tv series don't care they might be making a, a new macgyver series don't there care. was there was a series that i HB, saw hbo might be making oh. a watchman series yeah that's that, that sounds dumb and i don't care um, they Hasbro announced the next four or five Transformers movies. Nope, don't care. Five through eight are greenlit. Nope. Dumb. Um, there's a Doctor Who spinoff. Nope. Well, that sounds interesting, I guess. And then there, there might be another Marvel show in the works. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, damage, damage control. Damage yeah, control. Damage controls, that'll be funny as shit. Half hour sick single camera sitcom. Yeah, I'm interested in that one. Single. Did you guys see the DC superhero girls? No. No, it's like a, a line of stuff aimed toward. Girls, oh yes, teens, yes, I did see that. Like tweens and teens. Yeah. Uh it's just like like the female superheroes and some of the villains uh from D C just like, you know, uh big eyefied and everything for little girls to play with. Toys, yeah. animation, movies. Listen, if they're being products. sold at Target, it's gonna be for boys or girls. No, no, it's 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 as girls, so Maybe they can't sell it at Target. I don't know. It looks all right, I guess, for girls. It's going to all be in the gray It's section. just trying to get girls interested in these superhero shenanigans. Oh, you know, I I had that, um, the Mark Miller thing I mentioned earlier. Oh, yeah. What is it? Um, So, like you said, he basically just does his own shit now. Yeah. And it's all creator own shit. Yep. He's running a contest uh-huh. for um, artists and writers to work on his characters. Oh, that's cool. And if you win, you're going to get paid, like, for the work nice so i know i think the artist stuff already started yeah the writing stuff starts this week right and it's he, he's doing a um like an annual for like miller world stuff mm-hmm. so you know, kick ass um nemesis superior like i don't know what books are going to be part of it yeah because he has a bunch of them now there's he's got so many books yeah. now but you basically if you're an artist you can submit like writing or drawing samples for yeah. i guess like pay like um, sample script pages that they have up, right? And you make like two hundred dollars a page yeah. if you get picked. It's pretty cool. And then artists get like, or I'm sorry, writers get so much per page too. Mm-hmm. Like it's like fifty bucks per page because it's a lot easier to write than draw. Yeah, I might, uh, <laughs> I might try for the writing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I, it's just be fun. Yeah. If you search like Miller World contest or whatever, you should yeah. be able to find it. Sure, it's I, on his website. The rules for the writing go up this coming week. Yeah. And I know that it's like five of his books. I know one of them was Kick-Ass related. Another one was Hit Girl related. And then I forget what the other books were off the top of my head. Um, but it wasn't like Nemesis or Superior. or Yeah. It was some of the more recent ones. Right. Like the Jupiter book that he has. Yeah. And 
Chronauts or whatever. I don't know that. I, one. I cannot remember the names of these books off the top of my head, but yeah, yeah, it was it was just kind of neat because I know Top Cow from Image has been doing that for the last few years, mm-hmm. but it's kind of neat that like Miller World's doing it. Like, yeah, because he's doing it with like his creator own <laughs> stuff that like he personally owns. Yeah, because Top Cow's doing it with like just their big books. Yeah, it's not so much the like. Yeah weird little indie creator own books well, it's all he has is like yeah. Miller world is, is it's interesting the downside is none of his shit ever comes out on time because it's all him you know yeah. he writes everything well and, and it's, it's like, not it's just not to writing though it's usually the artwork because he grabs really popular artists to work on it right that then get tapped by marvel or dc to do either a monthly book or, or do one of their events yeah. and then lionel the you get, got pulled off to do fucking everything and yeah so like he was in the middle of doing uh, i think uh superior for miller yeah so <laughs> when, that like it got delayed when, uh, for that, months his and book months came out so it was ridiculous yeah it's it's just it's it's a little insane though um like i don't did nemesis 2 ever come out nope no and superior 2 is nowhere in sight like yeah fucking these books like he's been wanting to do these for years like i know superior nemesis came out like four or five years ago and there's nothing still but yeah and because it's like steve McNeven always gets like thrown yeah. on the like big books by like the big two so he, he gets to stop and just do and it's, nemesis it's just it's one of those it's a guaranteed paycheck from marvel yeah versus uh well let's see how it sells before i get paid check eh. before i get a paycheck yeah well, that's pretty neat. I'll have to look into that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to have time for it. But that'd be just try it. Just try, do it while you're just wait, do some art. while you're working. I don't have time to do shit while I'm working except work. Man, you're doing do it, it at all. lunch. Doing it right. Do it at lunch. Do oh, some art at lunch. Do, just like I, art, I have. Up I lunch. have a half hour to eat and pee and poop and then get back to work. So oh, you can pee and poop while you're working. No. No. You yeah, can I try. Can, actually, I usually do. Mm-hmm. But still, there's it's, nothing better have, in this world than getting paid. The, the half hour lunch time is not a long time, especially since Audra wants to go out every time, and then I get her, and we just drive around until she's done pumping, and then I have to go back to work. So it kind of sucks. But yeah, yeah. Do anyway. you um? Okay, what was I gonna say? Yeah, she the should... laptop. What at work? Like, do you work on a laptop or a desktop? Yeah, a laptop. So bring your computer with you to the bathroom. No, that's weird. You, you know, I'm thinking maybe they'll. They'll have a lot of, like, work from home time, which is why you don't get that much vacation time. I don't think so. You might want to look into it. No. I mean, I was going to ask because I, I, I'd i like to take a vacation day for Star Wars Day. Yes. Um, Because, I mean, I'm going to be up till 3, 4 in the morning watching Star Wars. Yes. Um, so I might see if I can take that day off, which I don't think my boss would have a problem, and I've, I know I've accrued a day or close to a day. So I just wanted to check with our HR-ish lady. To see like how that works like i'm um, like i don't know if they ever expire uh how you know or anything like that if i accrue more than 10 at any point in time so i wanted to talk to her before i, I decided to use it because if they never expire then maybe i'll just hold it for a little bit mm. i don't know whatever doesn't matter uh i think that's about it yeah i didn't really see anything super super there, there, nothing like game wise really happened like no. stuff's going to be coming out soon that's about that's, it that's all game news is right now yeah, it's, it's like, like this game will come out this month yeah. here's here's a new trailer for fucking halo 5 and oh here's another new trailer for halo 5 i like the live action trailer that they have been playing chief is dead yeah there's no one coming out tonight during the walking dead okay uh, I'll, I'll, where I'll, it's it's spartan it follows spartan lock chasing after like I, I don't know why I just I really love those live action trailers that they have for these. They put a lot of money in. There's those. a lot of production you know, value. Into a lot of money. Things. It's funny because because everybody like makes fun of Destiny for having this like 500 million dollar campaign for you know like all all for their as they claimed for their uh, uh, marketing only. And it's like man motherfucker, look at Halo. Like look, the Destiny commercials are good, right? Yeah. But those Halo commercials, motherfucker fucker there's better production values in those than half the movies i go see yeah exactly and it's like you know bitch about the money that goes into that shit not the shit in the fucking destiny commercial holy shit it's ridiculous but yeah yeah it looks pretty good yeah um i would like to try halo at I'll some point but probably I'm, get it I, I'm, I'm, i've been thinking of getting the master chief collection you should then let me use your xbox so i can play all the half the halos i'll let you oh, oh no i don't have halo 2 I was going to say, I'll let you borrow the 360 so that you can play Halo just 1, 2, and 3. Just fucking buy four. it and play it and then give it to me for a week. 
that's it. A week. You're gonna need more than a week. two weeks. I don't. I don't know. I, I, the, with, with the uh, with the way Eric plays games, if he if once he can put Destiny down and not have to play it every day, yeah, he could probably get through all three. If Halos you give in it to me and well, the, ba- he, the baby goes to bed at nine and I play games till eleven thirty, twelve o'clock, sometimes one if I'm like feeling real ballsy. You'll be that able night. to beat Halo one in the one sitting, but two, three, and four, two sittings each, so two it's weeks. It's probably gonna be more than two sittings. Three sittings each, two weeks is all I need. And then it's back to you. I don't even need to keep it for that long. I don't know. What? Don't what are we going to do? Play multiplayer for 1,800 hours? No, no I'm I don't just, care. Like, I don't... Because so you, like you fucking play it. No, I'm not saying <laughs> I'm not going to give it to you. Jesus. <laughs> I'm saying I don't know if it's going to take you that long. If that short. The only one way to find out. I go just, ahead and buy... Just believe in it. I'm him. not buying. Buy the Master Chief Collection. I'm buying shit for a console I don't own. God damn it. Why not? I bought a console for shit I don't own. <laughs> that does, it's, it's your own fault. It's your own fault. I, have it. four, I haven't touched any of my Xbox One games. Let's call so this shit. I'm done. Done. Uh, is there an email? No, there's no email. Damn it, David. There's no email. Damn there's it. there's no you good know, news. You know, I'm going to call upon Alex and Matt, too. Like They started listening. They don't email us. Who's Alex and Matt? Uh, Matt is a buddy that lives in Delaware. Alex is no, his brother. Because they're, they're not buddies. listening. That's why. Well, they said they were listening. It doesn't yeah, mean they shit. said they were listening so that you'd shut the fuck up. People say it. that shit I don't, all I the don't time. Bring it, they bring it up to me. I don't bring it up to them. Hey, hey it's me the you talk said you, all the time is stupid. You, you do a podcast, right? It's like, yeah. What is it? And I tell them, all right, I'll look it up. I'll listen to it's it. Pokemon.podcast.com. Man, we need that URL. Oh, ready, real quick. Did you guys hear a guy manage to buy Google.com for 12 minutes? No. What? Yeah. Some dude, he, he, I guess he likes to look up to see what domains are for sale. And for some reason, Google.com was for sale. Wow. Through Google's own domain registration thing. Oh, no. <laughs> so for 12 minutes, he owned Google.com. Then what happened? Um, Google realized the mistake and <laughs> grabbed it. Oh, they Did just they took buy it from it? Yeah. Yeah. Or no, just... no, they just took it. Oh. Apparently it wasn't, I guess their, odds are their, um, uh, their thing wasn't up. Like it, their registration hadn't expired on it, so it's not like it was a free domain for somebody to buy. Yeah. Um. For some reason, their system just messed up and let him buy it. That's <laughs> funny. But it gave him access to like webmaster tools and stuff like that, and some other like DNS things that he could have actually like given more time. Really mess with Google. That's oh funny. god. That's funny. Like he could have redirected everything to like a porn site. Like you go to Google dot com, it takes oh, you to like, like the worst. Pornhub or something. You can't even Google why Google's not working. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? Everyone has to go to Bing. No, <laughs> oh, no, or Alta Vista. All right, I'll tell you what. Bing's got some pretty pictures. If, if you're going on like Chrome and you just type in "Why is Google not working?", it'll Google it. It can't if Google's not accessible. If Google dot com is not accessible. If Google dot com, if everything's being sent to Google dot com, it's it, nothing. Yeah, if you go to your 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 navigation bar and just type something to search that sends that to Google dot com and returns, you'll just get a four hundred four because the page at yeah. Pornhub that you went to doesn't exist. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there is there is no awesome. there is no Pornhub dot com <laughs> slash Why does Google not work? So it'd be like, nope, this isn't working. <laughs> you need to fix that. That'd be awesome. Fix though. your query. <laughs> That'd be awesome. All right. Well, that 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 about does it. I need to go get my baby and go home. Probably go shopping and shit. Fuck I Sundays, get, man. I gotta go shopping. Oh wow, Alta Vista is now just Yahoo search. Yeah, isn't that really sad? Yeah, Alta Vista. I, I missed Alta Vista. I checked into like, that a little while ago when Parks and Rec was popular. Huh. Remember, like net net free or whatever, net one or whatever. No. It was like the free internet. For some reason, Yahoo, <laughs> the Yahoo P- Alta Vista search page thing. I'm in Chrome right now. Yeah. It's got a thing in the top right corner. Try Yahoo search on Firefox. God. <laughs> it's like whenever you go to Chrome or go to Google on, on a browser other than Chrome, it's always trying to get you to install Chrome. Yeah. Apparently, Yahoo really wants you to work in Firefox. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think they have a, a thing right now where if you get Firefox, it changes everything to Yahoo. And fuck Yahoo. Yahoo. It's so dumb. Fuck Alta Vista. All right. Wrap this shit up. I'm hungry. What are you hungry Me for? Too. What are you going to get? I don't know. Hmm. Probably just go home. That's dumb. I have like pumpkin pie. Well, since we didn't get any emails, <laughs> you could get emails at. Listen, we're getting to it. I know what to do. We're just talking about other shit. I'm hungry as well. I didn't eat breakfast. That's your own fault. You should have texted Erica earlier and asked him to grab you breakfast. Right. Too. We shouldn't have had this at nine thirty. <laughs> then I would have been up earlier to ask him. 
I don't understand. Early. Normally we have it at nine o'clock. It's even earlier. I know, and I was up at nine, but then I just went back to sleep. Why didn't you just fucking stay awake and play Destiny for twenty minutes? Like I would have done. Yeah. I got like, I, was... I got here. He was still in bed. I had to text him, and be like, God. "Hey, can I come in?" You know, when Doors you guys locked, I'll be down in a minute. You know, in the few times we did it at my house, I got up so early that I played video games until you guys came over, and that was before I had a baby. Yeah, I, just, I don't. I got up and played Mario Maker for like See? twenty minutes. And, and I want Mario Maker. I want to go buy that. I, I was out when I get paid. Three, I mean, just go, just go put on a credit card. No, now. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Do it. I'm not doing that. Charge it. Do Battlefront it. starts on Thursday. Then d- d- while you're waiting for Battlefront to download, you can be playing Mario Maker on the tablet. It's only seven gigs. Doesn't matter. It's PSN. Yes. No. No. <laughs> I, I understand that. But heads up, it's only seven or eight gigs. So yeah. just so it's Thursday. only take two days to download. What? It's only going to take two days to download. Yeah, just just do it from your phone or whatever Thursday morning. Or I might just I don't know what time it's going to go live on Thursday. So I'm going to try it in the morning. Try yeah. to Download it. If not, I'll just check out the day. That, but it's nice that you can just yeah queue it up on your phone and it'll start to download for you all right so uh you guys can send us email social at one dash quest.com send it to us we'll open them up we'll read them then we'll close them uh sometimes we'll reply to them uh occasionally we'll discuss them but we can't do that if you don't send them so social at one dash quest.com emails motherfuckers just send us email we get so bored talking about this other shit yeah we do so we gotta listen to Cobb talk too much yeah Occasionally, if Vogel's here, he talks way too much. Vogel's never here. Shannon, Shannon talks too much. I turned on Destiny for like an hour yesterday <laughs> in the morning uh, before we went out. To the, not in the morning. It was probably afternoon. Like, like I think it was 4 o'clock. I turned on Destiny. Audrey and the baby were taking a nap. I turned on Destiny. And I said to Audrey before she took a nap, I was like, I guarantee you Vogel's going to send me a, a, a chat invite as soon as I turn this game on. And I turned it on, and he wasn't on. But five minutes before I logged off, he sends me a chat invite. I'm like, I fucking knew he was going to try to talk to me at least once while I played it this was, game. Uh, what, what Every day was it? damn time. Friday, Friday night, I just wanted to like do my own thing. Like I just, I was like, I want to get all this shit done. Then do your own thing. I just want to do my own thing. He sends me an invite. So I'm like, I'm not even going to acknowledge that he's online. That's mean. Nothing. That's I'm just going to get online. I'm just going to play. Sends me an invite 15 minutes later, and then I'm like, fuck, now I'm stuck doing shit with That's him. me. No, you just talk and stuff. It's, it's it's fun. Anywho, I just thought that was funny. And then as soon as I, I log on last night at like 1030, he sends me a, a, a party thing, too. I was yeah. like, god damn it, Fogel. He's a nice guy and all. Nice guy. I like to do stuff with him. But anyway, social at one-quest.com. You can also find us on facebook.com slash onequestonline, Twitter at one underscore quest, and www.one-quest.com. Make sure you find us on uh, this podcast on iTunes and Stitcher, which more than likely, if you're listening to us, you already found it there. But maybe tell your friends to find it there. Tell them to tell their friends to tell, find it there, and tell their friends to find it there as well. Well, we have... Subscribe like heart four, star. Friend. We have like 450 likes on Facebook. It'd be nice to get to 500 before the end of the year. If so we get we to 500 just... likes, every one of you gets nothing from us. So you please get, do it. You get an e-high five. We an will, e-high five. I will, put, I, I will find a way to get an e-high five to you. you just It's just a picture of your hand yeah. on a screen on Facebook. Like, so like, like, and I'll, have like, I'll take the picture and it'll be like a goofy face. I'll like... Yeah, like you can't see it, but it's it's awesome. Yes, and you take a picture of the high five and have people and say, "Here you go, here's your e high five. Please proceed to high five my hand, but please do so at your own caution. Do not hit your screen too hard." And what you do, the best e high five reply that we get, you'll be our best friend. Um, I don't know about that. I don't just hand out my best friendhood to anybody. They'll be our best friend. They'll do it if they're our best friend. I don't. I don't know. David, you're already our best friend, so you're ineligible. Dave, you're, you're a cool guy. I don't think you're my best friend, though. <laughs> but, you know, I guess Walnuts just hands out best friendhood to everybody. So everybody who's Walnuts' best friend, just keep in mind, you're really not his best friend. You're just another I don't, friend. I, don't, just, I said our, like the, the one quest best friend. Not I, don't, my best I don't trust people enough to just hang that out, though. You have to earn my best friendhood. It's not your best friendhood. You have to earn it. Okay. Have a nice day, everybody. Bye. Bye. Hey.